From United High School tonight, District 6, Class AA, playoff action as the United Valley Lions tackle the Mount Union Trojans. Todd Marino along with Jeff Cribbs bringing you the action here on Rinda Digital TV. Our prime sponsors tonight, Young and Associates and Joyce Plumbing and Heating. And we thank them. We thank all of our sponsors here on Renda Digital TV. You can go to any of our Renda Broadcasting websites and click on the link, and you're watching the game. Uh, you also could choose the Northern Cambria Marion Center game also the same way by going to any of our Renda Broadcasting websites. Tonight, the Lions at 9-1, and one, the Heritage Conference champions, and the Mount Union Trojans, who are probably not all that happy about being here, Jeff. This is a team that... Uh, had the chance last week uh, to solidify a home playoff game in the four seed. Instead, River Valley and Mount Union flip-flopped because of Mount Union's big loss to Carn City while River Valley won their game easily over Connemaw Valley. And uh, that put Mount Union on the road uh, 90 miles away uh, to United. Yeah, and uh, Mount Union, for those of you who don't know, is in Huntington County. So it was, you know, an hour and a half trip for them to get here. And you're right, they would, I'm sure, love to be hosting a home game. But, uh, yeah, Carn City definitely uh, gave them a really good game. They actually came out and played really well and uh, uh, gave us the matchup we see here tonight. Indeed, Mount Union and uh, United Valley. I'm going to have struggles all night long calling them United Valley. I have for the last two seasons. Why not tonight? We thank you for joining us here tonight. Uh, coming up, we'll have a conversation with Kevin Marabito, the United Valley head coach. That's on the way. You are watching District 6 playoff football action here on Renda Digital TV. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money, all from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. Have you dreamed of blazing fast internet speeds and unlimited data? Well, dream no more. Introducing SeaWorld, your gateway to a seamless online experience. Thanks to T-Mobile's revolutionary 5G internet, you can now get lightning fast connectivity right in the comfort of your own home. And it's only $50 a month. For more details, call Brian, SeaWorld's friendly and knowledgeable sales representative at 724-463-3200, extension 122. SeaWorld, the future of internet is here. Robindale and its affiliated companies are proud to be a sponsor of all student athletes in the area. For nearly two decades, Robindale has been cleaning up refuse coal piles that dot and scar the western Pennsylvania landscape. To reclamate and beautify these areas, Robindale believes deeply in safety, compliance, and community responsibility. If you would like to become a part of the Robindale team, you can contact them at 814-446-6700, extension 122, or see how Robindale can assist your business at robindale.com. We're the lifeblood of the community. It's so much more than just a job. So good patient care is providing top quality care, but also in a timely fashion. They don't need to go to Pittsburgh for that. They can stay right here in their backyard. So when a patient walks into your office, you receive them as your family member. A patient leaves my office feeling heard. And the focus truly is on what will get us our best patient outcome. Coy's Pizza, Route 56, and the top of Nolo Hill, Route 422, would like to wish the United Valley Lions the best of luck in District 6 playoffs. Before or after the game, make the stop at Coy's Pizza for their perfect pizza with delicious cheese, perfect toppings, wings, stromboli, and your favorite cold beverage. Coy's Pizza, Route 56, and the top of Nolo Hill, Route 422. It's always a great time for Coy's Pizza. United Valley. Tonight, the United Valley Lions taking on the Mount Union Trojans District 6 Class AA playoff action. And we have a conversation with the head coach of the Lions, Kevin Marabito, next. Uh, the Lions coming into the football game tonight at 9 and 1. They won their first eight games of the regular season, lost to River Valley, and then beat Conema Valley to close out the regular season for uh, the uh, Mount Union Trojans. Uh, their season 
Uh, it was kind of a surprising loss last week, 34-19 to Carn City. Uh, but they are a team that puts up a ton of points. We'll talk with the coach about that. They are 8-2. and two. They won the first week, lost to Berlin Brothers Valley. Everybody does, it seems. Uh, and then they ripped off uh, six, six wins in a row uh, before losing to Carn City last week, or seven wins in a row, I guess, uh, before losing to Carn City last week. So 8-2 and two Mount Union. 9-1 and one United Valley. A conversation next. The head coach of the United Valley Lions, he's Kevin Marabito. Kevin Marabito and his United Valley Lions uh, win the Heritage Conference, and now it moves on. You know, a lot of coach, uh, coaches would say this is bonus time now. This is, this is the sweet time of the year when you, you play and, and you have some fun with it, and who knows, you might win a game or two. I don't know that you approach it that way, Coach, but I know that this is a, a nice reward for a really good and hard-fought season. Ah, it is, Todd. I mean, if, if you get back over the last three, four years for us, for Black Lake, probably even longer, you know, the drought, it, it's it's as I told them Friday night after, you know, beating Conemaw Township and winning the Heritage, I said, now it becomes icing on the cake. You know, just, just go out and play. You never know when it's going to end. Give it your best effort, and you know, try as you as you said, try to win a few games in the in the tournament here, and, and see where you can go. I mean, I you know, as I told the kids, I'm not not ready to want to pack away for the year, but you know, and I I think the same way with them. I mean, it's it's just uh, the fun part of the season. You know, most teams are sitting at home, and you still got a chance to chance to play. And then you get a chance to look at this Mount Union team. And I remember the basketball playoffs last year when Mount Union came to United and uh, played against the, the Lions in the District 6 playoffs. And uh, the, the kid, uh, Danish, uh, who was their quarterback on their football team, he had a whale of a game on the basketball floor. This is one of those all-around athletes that every coach would love to have, isn't it? Oh, he, he's, a, he's very tough, Todd. I mean, he's got 800 and some yards passing he, he's rushed for oh great 900 and some yards you know rushing i mean he, he's all over the place i mean he's he's the one that, that definitely their their offense revolves around i mean he he can do a lot of things you know he's very very shifty i mean you know we, we've worked all week long of trying you know if he's in there keeping him in the pocket you know don't let him escape because you know he, he can go you know i mean he, he's a great athlete and you know compliment to him's the the big fullback running back type the, the ryan boy it's rushed for over 800 yards so the you know they, they get a two-pronged monster there i mean we we you know, for everything we've seen, I mean, he, he can throw the football, but I think they, they definitely want to run first, but they're, you know, he, he can put it in. I mean, uh, Danish boys, the, he's really the real deal. I mean, we, we've got to pay attention to where he is all night long. We have watched Mount Union over the years in football and just had the advantage of seeing their scores come in on Coach's Corner on Saturday mornings, and they put up a lot of points. They always have. What is it with them? Is it a different style of offense, or do they just have really good athletes, uh, and great coaching? I know it has to be some combination of all three, right? I, I would say, I mean, it, they're athletes. I mean, they they look very they're very fast and shifty. So I, I mean, that's that's the scary part for us because I I know the first thing whenever uh, you know you can't tackle, and the first thing you're you're going to hear throughout, you know, don't you guys teach tackling? Well. You know, when teams are a little bit quicker and, you know, seeing Mount Union, they're, they're very fast. They're, they're, they can make you look very bad tackling, you know, and that's that's my fear tonight. But I, I think a lot of it is what you said. You know, they, they have some great athletes out there. I mean, they're it, it really it comes down to speed. You know, I, I don't know if it's, it's different. Uh, you know, you, you don't see a lot that's different offensively than what we see in our, our league. It's just the one thing and you know and i've always said this you know having the opportunity to coach in the laurel highlands and the, the heritage you know there, there there's some speed in all those you know and i, I think tonight you know we're, we're going to see that speed factor and i think that's what mont union has most of the time you know their, their speed's a little bit faster than what most teams most teams have and you know and i, I think that's where they they score their points 
lot of coaches will tell you speed is the one thing that you really can't diagnose on on tape but, but <laughs> you have to you have to find a way to uh, to counter that speed and sometimes it takes a couple of series before you you even get used to it you know the, the biggest thing with it, Todd and you know you can tell players this all the time that you know my philosophy is let those kids come to you you know if you you try to start attacking them I mean if you get down you, you get yourself in, in good position you know that that kid has to go or if you make that that one commitment that you're going here he's cutting back you know we we tried to work that this week you know you, you can't get out you know just, just get your area you know he's coming to you you know and you know be able to play it and that's that's the fear tonight is that we've got to we got to play position and, and, and try not to attack too much i mean you, you definitely want to attack another offense but if if you're too overly aggressive and they get a little bit, you know, their, their speed and quickness is, is can, can be devastating to you. Coach, what, is, what has the team been like in practice this week? They pretty loose? I pretty much taught. I mean, I just talked to one of my assistants today, and, you know, I mean, kids were serious but loose. You know, and they're, you know, and it's what I'm, I'm telling them. You know, just, just go have fun. I mean, now is the time of the season that, that you just want to go out. You want to enjoy these moments. You know, and I don't know, I, I probably said this before that, you know, th- this is the only job that when you can come through the gate that, that someone's going to cheer for you. You know, and I, I keep telling the players that this this is going to, could be your last time that someone, when you come to work, that you're going to cheer. But our kids, you know, even last night, they, they were serious, but, but loose. Is that a good thing? I mean, I don't know. Probably years ago, with you know, with Coach Page and Coach Bailey and stuff, you know, you, you know, you'd be worried, you know. And anymore, the the style of the way kids are today, you know, they have to be. Because I, I I go back and look at coming up the River Valley, our kids, we weren't loose and we weren't having fun, you know. So you know, hopefully, what, what we've seen this week with our, you know, our, our kids are smiling, they're flying around, they're having fun, but. Also, they are serious. So, you know, it's it's one of those ones I, you know, I guess you would think the older you get, the more you can read into kids where, you know, the older I get, I, I don't know if I can. <laughs> them, but, you know, I, I think they're, they are having fun and they're pretty loose. Hey, Coach, um, uh, we talk about Mountain Union offense. We always have. Uh, they, in the past, have always been able – uh, to win despite giving up a lot of points defensively. Are they a tighter defensive group this year than normal? They're they're pretty pretty disciplined on defense. I mean, we we've seen some things that that hopefully we can exploit. But you know, I, I think overall they're they're pretty well rounded. I mean, I, I know they're they're giving up a lot of points, but but still, I mean, our our philosophy is tonight we we got to control the ball to keep their offense off because they're they're going to be tough to stop defensively. I mean, it it could be. It could be a high scoring game and it could be who has a football last. I mean, you, you just don't know. You know, the, the other scary part is we got to be prepared on special teams. I mean, it, it's, it's like you say, it, it's, it's all three phases. You know, defensively, you know, your, your question was they're, they're, they're a decent defensive team. Uh, special teams scare me because of once again, it's at that speed, you know, and you, you get a, you get a breakdown there, you know, that, that could cause a problem for you. No. Yeah. Well, it is a challenge tonight, but it's a fun challenge. It's the District 6 playoffs after all. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Okay, Todd, thank you. Mike Keith and I are ready to be reelected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county. We said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband, We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county, and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And And go go Lions. Lions! 
Looking to experience luxury with your next vehicle? Then look no further than Luther Lincoln. From the full-size Lincoln Navigator to the mid-size Lincoln Aviator or the Lincoln Nautilus and Corsair crossovers, Luther has the Lincoln you want. With complimentary pickup and delivery for service or being able to schedule your service appointments online, Luther Lincoln wants to make your experience a pleasant one. Luther Lincoln, your choice for Lincoln. Route 119, Homer City. Click on LutherLincoln.net. Every moment. This is State Senator Joe Pittman wishing all of our student athletes and their families every success. Friday Night Lights are always exciting and I recognize how important it is for students to be involved in activities, whether it be in athletics or the performing arts. I salute not only all of our students, but also all who guide them on and off the gridiron. And I wish all of our hometown teams the best of luck this season. Did you know Citizens Ambulance Service is there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Did you know the annual Citizens Ambulance Membership Drive is starting? Be on the lookout for membership renewal envelopes in your mailbox. To become a new member, it's super easy this year. Look for the QR codes in the community, just scan the code and it will take you to the membership page. Household memberships help cover the cost of being ready 24-7 for the community. Becoming a new member is easy this year. Citizens Ambulance Service, community support makes it work. Welcome back, it is our first National Bank pre-game show at First National Bank applying for loans just got easier. Apply for multiple loans at once with FMB's fast and easy e-store common app. Todd Marino along with Jeff Cribbs bringing you this football game tonight. Mount Union against the United Valley Lions and uh, when you look statistically at these two teams, uh, Jeff um, fairly even, but it's a much more defensive brand of football that they play in the Heritage Conference than they do up in uh, the, the inter- whatever that conference is. What's it called? The, the inter County Conference. Inter County Conference, yes. yeah. Uh, they're, they're much more offensive-oriented, and Mount Union is traditionally an offensive-oriented team. Yes, and uh, if you look at their stats for the year, they're outscoring opponents an average of 41 to 14. That's an a They're averaging 41 points a game. So, as you said, uh, they are known to put up a lot of offense, and the team this season has certainly done that. And uh, they get the majority of their pro or offensive uh, output from two fellows, Bryce Danish, the quarterback, uh, and Josh Ryan, uh, who is their setback uh, in that uh, fullback, I guess, would be more in the wing tee. Uh, and uh, those are the two guys uh, who are going to carry the football the most. Danish will throw it a little bit, not a whole lot, about as much as uh, the uh, quarterback for United Valley, Isaac Worthington. It'll be interesting, though, to see Danish we saw in the basketball playoff game at United uh, over the winter. Uh, a really good athletic kid, big kid. Uh, and they've got some other uh, speed guys on the outside. You heard Kevin Marabito talking about the speed uh, that is brought to the game by Mount Union. The one thing that's hardest to gauge on video is the speed of a guy. And um, I said to Coach during the interview, you know, there might be a series or two where you're a step behind before these guys get used to that kind of speed. Yeah, as you said, Bryce Danish is a big he has a big kid. He's a senior. He's 6'1", 180. But you're right. When you watch this team on film, they look fast, but it's it's very hard for your team to uh, be accustomed to that and react to that until you see it in the field. You're exactly right, Todd. Put some pressure on the United Valley linebackers in particular, but they're pretty good. Caden McCulley, uh, Colin Nedrick, uh, and, uh, and Zach Travis, uh, they do a really fine job. And the big guys up front will be a big key to this football game as well. Coming up. We've got an AccuWeather forecast for you. Game day weather is on the way. You're watching the first National Bank pregame show here on Renda Digital TV. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, 
vacations, you name it, all without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money, all from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb online.com. Hello, this is Jay and Shannon from Hutton Blues Insurance. We pride ourselves on building strong personal relationships with our clients. We are an independent agency offering you the best coverage at the best rate. When you buy insurance, whether it's for your home, car, business, or life, you want an advocate working in your best interests. And that's Hutton Blues Insurance. Route 119 North, just outside of Indiana. We're also honored to have been voted in the top two insurance companies in the 2324 Best of Indiana County Contest. Thank Thank you, you, Indiana Indiana County. County. Hey, Jen, where do you want to eat? Mm, How about Fox's Pizza and Seward? Fox's Pizza and Seward? Yeah, they have a great menu and you get rewarded. Rewarded? Yes, for every dollar you spend, you can earn points that you can redeem for free food. Free food? Now you're talking. And you can download their app and order online. Okay, let's do it. Get rewarded. Start earning Den dollars at Fox's Pizza Den, Roadway Plaza in Seward. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your local Erie agent is William G. Meckling Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 724-465-4261 or visit mecklinginsurance.com. Very rate lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Hi, this is State Representative Jim Struzzi, and like most of you, I find myself ready to watch some Friday night football. And this season is no different. I want to wish all our area athletes, band members, cheerleaders, and all who participate the best of luck for a safe, successful, and fun-filled season. These games wouldn't happen without the support of the community, and as a parent, I know the importance of after-school athletics and programs keeping our youth's mind and body ready to tackle life's hardest lessons. For me and my staff, good luck, and I'll be rooting for each and every one of you. Welcome back to United High School, our First National Bank pregame show at First National Bank. You can shop and buy products and financial services online. Explore their products and financial education to fund the solutions you need. Check out to apply easily online or schedule an appointment for expert in-person guidance at First National Bank. Visit them online at fmb-online.com, fmbonline.com. United Valley and Mount Union, we mentioned a couple of the stats a couple of moments ago. And uh, let's take a look at the stat line for this team. You'll see the comparison of these two teams and what each of them does, total offense and, uh, and some of the other numbers uh, from this football game uh, as these two teams get ready to go. And you see their record side by side. And the points per game uh, stands out too, Jeff. Yeah, it certainly does. We mentioned Mount Union outscoring their opponents 41-14. to 14. United, on the other hand, you know, averaging 27 to 9. So United plays very good defense, usually, Todd. And their defense is going to get put to the test tonight against this Mount Union offense, for now, sure. Mount Union does total more total offense, but not all that much more than United Valley. And total defense, well, United Valley, uh, you can see uh, they allow. They're much stingier, I should say, than Mount Union is. But, again, that could be a product of the conference in which they're playing. Yes, there are no common opponents among these two teams yet to this point, so uh, it's hard to judge the difference between the competition they have faced. These two teams getting set to come back up onto the football field, United Valley and Mount Union. Mount Union is off to our right. You can see them busting through the banner. And here come the Mount Union Trojans. They list 22 guys on their rosters. They've got 21 in uniform, one on crutches. United Valley Lions will follow them onto the football field. We'll be playing football really soon here tonight from United High School. Of course, District 6 playoff action. First round action in AA. The winner of this game will move on to play in the second round. Most likely the Richland Rams as you look at the brackets. Richland taking on Penns Valley tonight. 
The other half of the bracket, Bald Eagle and Bishop Guilfoyle. That's the 1-8 matchup. And then Forest Hills is at River Valley. That one is on radio tonight on Cat Country 106.3 FM. And getting set to watch the Lions as they bust the banner. They'll get a nice round of applause from this crowd. And here they come. Captains will meet. We'll be playing football in just a couple of moments. You are watching the First National Bank pregame show on Renda Digital TV. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Jeff Nordine with your First National Bank game day forecast. Here's what the teams and fans can expect tonight at Thomas Medeal Athletic Field in Armagh. As we approach game time at 7 p.m., we'll be looking at a little bit of cloud cover, but overall a pretty clear sky for the evening with a temperature near 50. And then as we move throughout the game, we're expecting temps to dip into the 40s. Finally, closer to game day end, we're going to see the temp around 43. Winds throughout the game are going to be calm at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and in general out of the south-southeast likely not being too much of a factor. For Renda Digital TV and First National Bank, I'm AccuWeather Meteorologist Jeff Norton. At IRMC, we have all of the necessary pieces in place to perform complex operations, including highly skilled and specially trained surgeons, their support team of experts, and advanced technology like the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. As a result, patients spend less time in the hospital, recover faster, and get treated close to home. So there's no reason to puzzle over where you should get your surgical care. The answer is right here at IRMC. Luxembourg's Jewelers, a proud supporter of all the area athletes, would like to wish the best of luck to all the Heritage Conference schools and, of course, the Indiana Little Indians this season. With two convenient locations, Luxembourg's Jewelers is the winning choice for gifts of any occasion. Show your school pride with gifts ranging from beautifully logoed coffee mugs, keychains, money clips, water bottles, and more. From the Indiana Mall to downtown Indiana, Hip, Jeff, and the Luxembourg's team wishes everyone an MVP season. Luxembourg's Jewelers is Indiana's Jeweler. The engineering firm of Young & Associates is proud to sponsor high school athletics. With offices in Indiana, Catanning, and Johnstown, Young & Associates is a full-service engineering, surveying, and design firm for private, public, and municipal entities, covering western Pennsylvania, delivering solutions in a timely and cost-competitive manner. To see how they can be of service to you, go online to wjyaengineers.com. Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. Our presenting sponsors tonight for our Renda Digital TV broadcast, Young and Associates and Joyce Plumbing and Heating. You just saw the Joyce commercial. One of the Joyce uh, Plumbing and Heating employees is a United grad, Anthony Michaels, who was injured today in a hunting accident. Uh, and he was life flighted from the scene of that accident in Green Township. Uh, uh, he's got a lot of injuries, uh, doesn't appear to be life-threatening, and that's great news. And so we'd like to give a big shout-out uh, to Anthony Michaels, United uh, high grad uh, and wish him the best and his family as well uh, and that comes from us and of course from everybody at Joyce Plumbing and Heating. Mount Union has won the toss and deferred so United Valley's offense will be the first that we see tonight. Here's your lineup for the United Valley Lions on offense. Your quarterback is Isaac Worthington the senior. Up front the center A.J. Villa. The guards Evan Thomas and Clint Safko. The tackles Braxton Jelly and Tavin Shirk. The running back, Caden McCulley, a thousand yard rusher. Colin Nedrick will line up at the fullback. Uh, you'll see Zach Travis uh, at the tight end position. Gino DiPaolo, Braden Brown will be catching the football and uh, you'll see Braden Brown running the football a little bit too and coming off that wing. Uh, that is where you'll also see Gino DiPaolo getting a carry or two. Officiating crew, the referee is John Garitano, the umpire is Zach Hallman, 
The linesman, Mike Sajis. Line judge is Jeff Fink. The side judge, Corey Buckner. The field judge, Randy Rowland. And the back judge is John Jancock. Janik, I should say. And there you go. We're getting set to play some football here tonight. It will be United Valley receiving to begin this game, our first quarter, presented by First National Bank. Applying for loans just got easier. Apply for multiple loans at once with FMB's Fast and Easy eStore Common app. Well, they said United Valley. Actually, I think what they meant, Todd, was Mount Union had deferred, and so uh, then United chose to kick off. Okay, then. So it will be the Mount Union offense first. My apology. Here we go. Nedrick will put the foot into the ball. And he will put it on the ground, and it'll be handled. And falling on the ball at about the 27-yard line is 50. I don't have a 58. Just left I don't have down. a 68 either. It looked like that's who the up, up man picked it up. <laughs> Let's hope that kid is not in any more action tonight. Uh, no hash marks on this field, so that makes it a little more difficult. We're going to call that the Mount Union 28. As we are underway, and that was one of the emphasis by Kevin Marabito was keeping it out of their special teams. They got great return teams, and he didn't want to mess around with that at all. Josh Ryan, the fullback behind the quarterback in the pistol. That's Bryce Danish, and it will be Ryan's carry off the right side. There's nothing there for him at all. Braxton Jelly, Zach Travis in there, and uh, also Caden McCulley. They're going to be called upon tonight. No gain. Uh, they actually gave him a yard. Second and nine. Running at Travis is going to be a really difficult proposition. On second and nine, Danish is going to run left, look for the edge, and he's going to get there. He's to the 30, the 35-yard line, to the 40, and then brought down out at the 47. First down uh, for Mount Union. Carry there by Danish. 13 yards. First and 10. There's that speed, but that was just a great seal block on that left side. Trips right, single receiver left. And on first down, the ball is on the field and the Lions are on it, Zach Travis. That's a great defensive play right there and uh, obviously got this United Valley crowd fired up. Able to stop Mount Union from just scoring any points on their first possession. Mix up there, mishandled handoff between the quarterback Danish and Josh Ryan and Zach Travis with the recovery. United Valley in business at the 48 yard line of Mount Union. 11.07 left in the first quarter. Isaac Worthington, the quarterback, he's got trips to the left, the single back. And he's going to fake it that way, but there's nothing there. Mount Union was waiting for him, and knocking him down is Xavier Peck. It's a loss on first down of about two for United Valley. Yeah, number 56, Devin Yoakum was in there too. He had two guys on him and no running room at all. That's one of those uh, film study tackles right there. He knew to stay home, and he got him. It's just going to be a loss of about a yard, just a little bit over a yard. Second down, we'll call it 12. And Worthington will hand it off to McCulley. He's got a big hole up the middle. There goes Caden McCulley. He's down to the 30, to the 25, the 20. McCulley is going to take it all the way. A 50-yard touchdown run for Caden McCulley, and United Valley jumps on top. Boy, Todd, there's some great blocking downfield there by number seven, Braden Brown, too. McCulley has the speed to get around the corner. And Brown was down there, set a nice block for him. Well, Mount Union had defensive problems last week against Carn City, and certainly a 50-yard jaunt by McCulley helps the Lions make their own statement. Nedrick to attempt the extra point out of the hole to Braden Brown. There's a whistle. 
timeout United. Yeah, United Valley's going to have to call timeout. So will we. They had a special teams numbers problem there. It's Renda Digital TV. We're back with the extra point in just a moment. shop for pretty much anything online clothes food vacations you name it all without ever leaving the comfort of your couch finally banking can be just that easy too with the all-new fmb e-store you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money all from the comfort of your couch from clicks to bricks we've got you covered experience the fmb e-store in branch on your phone or online at fmb-online.com Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. After the timeout, the extra point attempt, the snap a bit high, and the kick will be blocked. And United Valley holds a 6-0 lead, 10-20 left in the first quarter. You're watching District 6 playoff football on Renda Digital TV. Mike Keith and I are ready to be reelected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county. We said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband. We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county, and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And, and go, go Lions! Lions. Do you like trying to figure things out on your own? That's commendable. But when it comes to tax laws and IRS rules and regulations, the smart thing to do is seek the help of a tax professional. That's Diane Mack. Diane Mack Tax and Accounting Service does tax work for both families and companies, along with bookkeeping services for small businesses with e-filing capabilities. Don't shortchange yourself. Seek the help of a professional. Call Diane Mack Tax and Accounting Services in Armagh at 814-446-5506. Colin Nedrick puts the foot into the ball, once again puts it on the ground. Mount Union will pick it up at the 20-yard line, looking for room and not finding any. And brought down right about that spot was Jason Robinson. As the Lions cover it. And on that stop for United Valley, Shaden Alaska. And so with 10.13 to go in this first quarter, it is six to nothing, United Valley. And Mount Union with the football at their 21. Boy, Todd, Kevin Marabito could not ask for a better start from his team tonight. He'll take that, won't he? Absolutely. Ryan is the running back to the left of his quarterback now. And Danish will hand it off to him. Ryan goes off the right side. He's out across the 20 to the 27-yard line. Cup of about six on first down. Nice first down run for Mount Union. Give him seven overall. Our drive summary tonight, our built Ford Proud Drive Summary, driven by Luther Ford. Two locations, Route 119 Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. 48 yards in two plays. 53 seconds off the clock for United Valley to take a 6-0 lead. Here comes Dana. She's caught in the backfield, uh, but he gets away, and he'll come back the other direction, and it looks like he's got room. He's got the first down and a little bit more. He's down to the 35-yard line. Boy, Todd, lots of times when you see a guy reverse field like that, there's either a block in the back or the defense is over pursued, and that's what happened there. They almost had him in the backfield. He was able to cut around the right side and pick up the first down. They'll give him right on the 35, so that is an eight-yard gain. And first and 10 from the 35-yard line for Mount Union. 
They turned the football over on the first play from scrimmage. Ryan behind Danish. He was moving a little early, but no flag. Handoff is to Ryan. Nothing there. As United will gang tackle him. Leading the way, Drew Gadula. And no gain for Ryan on first down. Yeah, Ryan's a big, strong runner, and it's going to take several guys to bring him down. United did a good job that time of rallying several guys to the ball. Gadula coming off that right side. Second down and 10. First quarter action. Trips left, single receiver right. Danish in the gun. He's going to try the right side. And he's got the edge again, but there's a flag. He's got the first down and more. He's into United Valley territory. Bowls over a guy and down at about the 47, maybe the 46 of United Valley. But the flag, and it is a holding penalty on Mount Union. This will all come back. And of course, the new rule this year, any penalty committed behind or at the line of scrimmage is marked off from the line of scrimmage. And so 10 yards further back, make it first and 20, or second and 20. From the 25, a couple of big time mistakes by Mount Union that couldn't overcome the first one. Let's see if they can overcome the second one here. Twins on either side for Danish. On second and 20, he's back to pass. He'll throw the swing pass to Ryan and brought down on a beautiful open field tackle by Caden McCulley. And he will lose another yard. Yeah, Todd, that was the textbook tackling by Caden McCulley there. He just sets his feet, drives right through that guy, and that's what I mentioned. He's not an easy guy to bring down. He carries some weight with him. Actually a loss of two. Make it third down and 27. They need the 45. And they're on the 23. That math doesn't add up either, does it? Back to pass again is Danish. He's looking downfield this time. Now he's going to tuck. Chased out of the pocket. He's surrounded, and he'll get Louis rid of the ball, and Ryan is there for the catch. Won't get the first down yardage, but that's the elusiveness and the strength of Danish to stay alive there and keep the play going. Yeah, Todd, I thought for sure they had him swallowed up in the backfield there, but you know, this is, this is a reminiscent of Big Ben Roethlisberger, where he was able to shed three tacklers and still get the ball off. It was pretty impressive. 17 yards on the reception. But it is fourth down and five. Danish is back. Ostensibly in punt formation, but that looks more like a play. And there's a whistle. And United Valley calls timeout. They were not expecting that. Six nothing. The Lions lead it. You're watching high school football playoff action district six playoffs on Renda Digital TV. Luther Ford, one trusted name, two great locations. Right now at Luther Ford, drive off in a new F-Series truck, Ford Ranger, Ford Maverick, or the all-electric F-150 Lightning. Check out the Ford Bronco, Bronco Sport, Eco Sport, Escape, Explorer, Expedition, Edge, and Mustang Mach-E. And always look at the exciting Ford Mustang. Luther Ford, one trusted name, two great locations, Route 119 Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway, Evansburg. LutherFord.com. We are back at United High School. It is fourth down and five for Mount Union and Danish is going to stand back at his 31. So only nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Is he punting this or are they running a play to go for it? The snap and he'll run to his right, setting up a rugby style kick. And now he wants to keep the ball and he'll throw it down the field and it will be knocked out. Caden McCulley came over and made the play. United Valley really defended that well. They really did. And they did not know what to expect there. And 
you know, when he rolled out to the right, he could have done the rugby style kick, as you mentioned, Todd. But, you know, he tried to throw it downfield, and the defense did a great job of breaking up that pass. And so United starts with fantastic field position here on the 40-yard line. They really do. At the Mount Union 40, a gamble taken by the Mount Union coaches. 6.54 left in the first quarter. United Valley taking over at the 40-yard line. Our first quarter brought to you by FNB Bank. First National Bank, applying for loans just got easier. Apply for multiple loans at once. Snap to Worthington, the handoff is to McCauley. Dances to his left, then drives it forward right up the middle, and he gets down across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Six-yard carry by Caden McCauley. He looked quick there, didn't he? That's a great run on first down. He found the hole, plowed right through it, and you have six yards on the first down. You'll take it. Second down and four for the Lions. Twin backs, Nedrick and McCulley. Worthington will take the snap. And he'll turn, and here's Colin Nedrick. He lowers his shoulder. Look at him take people with him inside the 30-yard line. He had big old Hayden Inch, 6'2 and 278 pounds, and he drove him backwards with the shoulder. Nedrick, what a carry. It's a very strong run, because Nedrick's not a real big, uh, not a real big guy. That was a great leg drive on that run. Picked up the first down. You see on the replay, take an inch for a mile. 6.04 to go from the 29 of Mount Union. Worthington, he'll take the snap. Fake it to McCulley. Now he wants to run it, and nothing there for Isaac. He'll be brought down a couple of fellows on that stop, including Hunter Steele and the mystery 68 there. No gain for Isaac Worthington. Clock rolls at 531. Kevin Marabito would not mind just chewing up some clock too. Absolutely. Keep the ball of this Mountain Union offense's <laughs> hands. Travis and Brown split wide to the left. To the right is Gino DiPaolo. There's a flag, and it is offsides on Mount Union. Cost him five more. So the Trojans are having all kinds of problems here tonight on the road. Yeah, they had the fumble. You know, they gambled in fourth down, went for it. A couple other penalties have pushed them back, and United's looking good in this second drive. That holding penalty put them behind the sticks by 10 yards. Second down and five. So that will ease the pain of the tackle for no gain on first down. McCauley is the single setback now. And it's his carry. And he's got a hole in the first down and more. Caden McCauley all the way down to the 13-yard line. And so he does keep it rolling. And... Gets it into the red zone, the Citizens Bank red zone. Citizens Ambulance, I should say. Citizens Ambulance service in the midst of their membership drive right now. Make sure you give them a call and sign up. First and 10 from the 13, McCulley cuts to the left. Now back up the front, he goes, and there he goes. McCauley into the end zone. He was tackled very deep in that end zone, too. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that we did not see a flag there, Todd. That was definitely kind of unnecessary and after the play. I don't know if the defender kind of lost track of where he was, but he was well into the end zone before he pulled him down. Nevertheless, United's on the scoreboard. Indeed they are. As McCauley, his second touchdown run of the night, it's 18 yards. And now the Lions will go for two to try to Restore that 14 nothing lead. Snap it, it's bobbled by Worthington. Rolls to his right now, releases into the end zone. He's got Gino DePaulo, the two point conversion. United Valley leads it 14 to nothing. 420 left in the opening quarter. You are watching United Valley and Mount Union District 6 AA playoff action on Renda Digital TV.
The engineering firm of Young & Associates is proud to sponsor high school athletics. With offices in Indiana, Catanning, and Johnstown, Young & Associates is a full-service engineering, surveying, and design firm for private, public, and municipal entities. Covering Western Pennsylvania, delivering solutions in a timely and cost-competitive manner. To see how they can be of service to you, go online to wjyaengineers.com. Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. Back at United High School, where the Lions have had a dream first quarter, Jeff. Absolutely. They this lead Mountain it. Union offense hasn't even threatened them yet. A 14 to nothing lead. Our drive summary, built Ford Proud drive summary, driven by Luther Ford, two locations, Route 119 in Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. That drive, five plays in 40 yards, two minutes and 34 seconds off the clock, the second touchdown of the night for Caden McCulley. And the Lions kick off again. And it'll be picked up at the 21-yard line. A bit of a bobble, and that was just too much as United Valley is all over the return man, Jason Robinson. And Mount Union will take over at the 21 for the second time in this game. Yeah, Todd, they've tried to kick short to keep it away from them, so Mount Union has adjusted. They're bringing their deeper guys up to try and pick that ball up. But, you know, that was great defense, special teams covered but there by United. So Mount Union's third offensive possession of the night. And they fumbled the football away on their first possession in their territory. Well, right at the 50. No, no, it was the 48, wasn't it? Yeah. And then they gave it up on downs at the 40. Now trailing 14 to nothing. Danish is going to turn and hand it to Ryan. They'll be corralled once again by that United Valley line and on the tackle there was Dylan Stevens. It's a gain of about two, close to three yards. Actually move that back, that stick on the far side. So it is a two yard gain, make it second down and eight. Danish from the gun. Little pump fake, and then he keeps it and tucks it. He's got the first down and more. He's out across the 35 to the 37-yard line before DiPaolo uh, gets him down. Worthington, actually. That was uh, Isaac Worthington on that stop. It's a slick move, wasn't it? Yeah, that pump fake really uh, got the defensive end to leave his feet, and once he did that, you know, he just ran right around him on the right side, picked up enough yards for the first down. 12 yards on the carry for Bryce Danish. And a first down out to the 36. Danish in the gun. He'll give it to Ryan, try the right side. He gets by the initial defenders, then Worthington, he runs through him. Finally corralled after a yard out across the 45-yard line, close to the 50. They give him the 49. It's a 17-yard carry there by Ryan. It was Braxton Jelly that finally corralled him out of bounds there. They seem to be finding their legs a little bit on this possession. Absolutely. Inside the three minute mark. Runner went out of bounds. So the clock stops. The snap and the handoff. Ryan will try the other side and he runs into the United defense on the Initial hit was Evan Thomas. And he got through that, but then he ran into a bunch of Evan's good friends, Clint Safko leading that charge. Big yep. old Tab and Shirk in there too. Yeah, the United defense is doing a very good job of trying to get as many guys to these ball carriers as possible because we've seen on many plays they're hard to bring down and they're doing a very good job of gang tackling. No gain second and 10.
back to the line of scrimmage come the Trojans. Snap and rolling to his right. Now pulling up, looking to pass. Now tucking into Stanish. He does release down the field, and that will probably be a penalty. Yeah. It is pass interference on United Valley. Yeah, Isaac Worthington was in coverage there. And as the quarterback's running around, Isaac's trying to stay with him, but he definitely got there early. You could see he was on his back uh, before the ball was uh, to the receiver. So that'll be the major, and that'll give the football to Mountain Union after the 15-yard markoff. It'll be at the 36-yard line. First and 10, Mount Union, 208 left in the first quarter. First incursion into United Valley defensive space. Danish has Ryan to his right. He's got three receivers to his left, one to his right. He'll roll to his right. He's got the ball tucked already. He's just looking for the edge and he gets there. Danish keeps it rolling out of bounds right at the yard marker. Looks like he may be inches short. Are they going to move it? They're saying second down, Todd. So officially we'll call that a nine yard gain because we don't go by inches. Nope, nine's close enough. But it is second and inches. And the handoff to Ryan. And he got the first down before he's brought down by McCulley again. But Mount Union inside the 25 yard line now. And a first down call coming up. They trail it 14 to nothing. And our game broadcast here on Renda Digital TV brought to you by Joyce Plumbing and Heating and by Young and Associates. On first down, Danny Schwartz to his right. He's trapped in the backfield and down he goes. <laughs> Refusing to let up. United Valley on the charge there. And leading the way for United Valley was 36, Dylan Stevens. Braxton Jelly got back there too. The loss is back to the 31. Yeah, Todd, you see on the replay there, they did a great job of outside contain. They did not let him get around the corner, and they had two guys waiting for him. That's great defense by United. Second and 16. Inside a minute left in the first quarter. Back to pass is Danish. He's got a man underneath, Robinson. Medrick came over the top to bring him down, but he was slipping down anyway. He got back what was lost on that first play. Third and 10. actually gave him a little bit more, so make it third and nine. And this will be two down territory for Mount Union. Danish looks to throw again. United Valley just containing here. Now he'll release down the field. He's got his man Ryan. He's inside the 10. And it will be first and goal down at the five yard line. Yeah, Tub, when you ask your secondary to guard for that long, somebody's bound to find an open spot, unfortunately, and that's what happened there. They give them the six. So it is an 18-yard gain, and Mount Union now in the Citizens Ambulance red zone. Citizens Ambulance membership drive is underway now. Make sure you're on those membership rolls. They need your help, and you need theirs. Four seconds left in this quarter. Danish will hand it off to Ryan. Spins off one man, gets it to the five, and that's all. It's a gain of one, and that will be the end of the first quarter. United Valley leads it 14 to nothing. You are watching District 6 playoff football action here on Renda Digital TV.
Did you know Citizens Ambulance Service is there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Did you know the annual Citizens Ambulance Membership Drive is starting? Be on the lookout for membership renewal envelopes in your mailbox. To become a new member, it's super easy this year. Look for the QR codes in the community, just scan the code and it will take you to the membership page. Household memberships help cover the cost of being ready 24-7 for the community. Becoming a new member is easy this year. Citizens Ambulance Service, community support makes it work. Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. Our second quarter brought to you by Robin Gorman and Mike Keith for Indiana County Commissioner. 14 to nothing, United Valley as we begin the second 12. It'll be second down and goal, Mount Union at the United Valley five yard line. And Danish will step under center, hand it off to the left side, pounding it forward, but not able to get in was Ryan. Third and goal coming up. And you give them just outside the three yard line. So a gain of only one, it's third down and goal. They ran that one right at United's big Tavin Shirk, the 6'3", 290 pounder. Ryan is the fullback, Robinson the tail on this formation. They'll pitch it to Robinson looking for the end zone. Did he get there? They're going to say no. Inside the one yard line. Just short. Nice tackle on that play. I, I missed the number, Todd. Uh, that was Zach Travis. Great tackle by him to keep him out of the end zone. Fourth down and goal from inside the one yard line. Can United Valley keep Mount Union out of this end zone? They go power eye. Danish, the quarterback, will keep it and he is in. So Mount Union gets on the board. A 13 play drive. Yeah, Todd, and that's the play a lot of teams are running now. You just get under center, snap it to the quarterback, and everybody kind of just pushes them right in the end zone, and they didn't have far to go. So we knew Mountain Union was bound to score some points tonight, and they do answer back. A drive covering five minutes and 32 seconds. The extra point attempt now. And is that Danish who kicks? It's no good. It was Danish. United leads it 14 to six. The United Valley Lions here in this District 6 AA playoff game. You are watching District 6 playoff action on Renda Digital TV. Mike Keith and I are ready to be re-elected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county we said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband. We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And, and go, go Lions. Lions. 
we're the lifeblood of the community. It's so much more than just a job. So good patient care is providing top quality care, but also in a timely fashion. They don't need to go to Pittsburgh for that. They can stay right here in their backyard. So when a patient walks into your office, you receive them as your family member. A patient leaves my office feeling heard. And the focus truly is on what will get us our best patient outcome. After the Mount Union touchdown, Danish to kick it off. He'll go deep, and Gino DiPaolo will field it at the 9. He's to the 15, try to make a move, get to the 20, and he does. To the 20, the 25-yard line, almost broke free, still carrying people with him. He's out to the 32. What a return for Gino DiPaolo. That was fantastic running. He was almost stopped by uh, Nasir Collins there from Mount Union, but he spun out of that tackle, ran over two more guys, and got up over the 30-yard line. 22-yard return. 10-21 left in the first half. 14-6 United Valley with the lead. It's time for another Built Ford Proud drive summary driven by Luther Ford with two locations, Route 119 in Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. That drive, 13 plays, 79 yards, 5 minutes and 32 seconds by Mount Union to pull to within 8. Now Isaac Worthington is United. Valley tries to answer. The handoff is to McCauley. He'll come up the middle. And he'll be stopped after a gain of a couple. Second down coming up. And eight to go. Well, he actually pull that out to three yards, make it second and seven. Again, no hash marks between the five-yard markers, so it's difficult to, to get it exact. On second down, McCulley again. Try to get outside this time, and that was a heavy ask, and the ball is on the field. Mount Union says they have it. The officials haven't signaled yet, and it will be United Valley ball. Third down coming up. That's a big break for United Valley. Yeah, at the end of that play, the referee came in right away, pointing to the ground, signifying that he was already down when the ball came out. So United Valley uh, escapes with uh, a chance here again on third down. Third down and eight for the Lions. Worthington in the gun. And he's back to pass. He'll take it long, and that'll be intercepted. That's a great defensive play. And I'm looking to try to find out who made it. Let me look here in the replay. Todd? Eighteen? I think it was 16. Was, is Danish playing corner? 16 is Danish. He does play free safety. Anyhow, a very nice interception by him. Was his pick, yeah. And so the first turnover by United Valley gives Mount Union the ball at their 41. 8.46 left in the first half. Danish right back there at the quarterback. And he's back to pass. He'll go long. Looking for Robinson. And difficulty locating the ball in the air. And Jason Robinson not able to haul it in. He actually had the defender turned around. And Worthington did not have an idea of where that ball was. But he was just close enough to distract the receiver. It falls in complete second and ten coming up. Yeah, he was right in his hip pocket there, Todd. And when he did turn, he finally was able to get his hand up. He was able to knock that ball away. So he didn't quite know where the ball was, but he didn't panic. And that's what you see a lot of defensive backs do sometimes. They just panic. I think the interceptor was Corty Williams, number 10 for Mount Union. It is second and 10 here. And the handoff is to Ryan, and he's stacked up. Evan Thomas has him, along with a bunch of other fellows. And he is finally stopped. Brady Verba in there, I believe. Third down coming up, and 
They're eight yards away from the first. Football out to the 43 yard line. On a rolling clock, 8 11 left in this first half. Northern Cambria has taken a 7 0 lead over Marion Center in their Class A game. Also on Renda Digital TV. Now trips right for Mount Union on third and eight, and the quarterback is going to go the other way, Danish, and he's got the first down. They stack it to the right, they come back to the left, and Danish gets the yardage needed. He is inside the 50-yard line. They give him the 47. And so a 10-yard carry there by Danish. And Mount Union now starting to find their momentum. First quarter bus legs, you think, maybe? Maybe. Here come the Trojans on first and 10. The handoff is to Ryan. He tucks it, goes. Braxton Jelly, Zach Travis there for United Valley. To the 45, it's a gain of two. And this defense from United is going to be tested tonight, Todd. But again, they're doing a very good job of not just letting one guy try and take on those ball carriers. They're, they're always having two, sometimes three tacklers there. Now, it's interesting the approach with Ryan, just a hammer of a fullback, and they're looking for that to pay dividends in the third and fourth quarter. Power eye on this drive. The pitch left is for Robinson. He looks for the edge, and he's got it and more. Down the sideline he goes, tries to make a cut, and slips down at the 32-yard line. That's twice, twice we've seen him slip tonight, Todd. He did that earlier on a kickoff return, too. Yeah, he did. That's just a little bit too fast for his feet in this field. The upper half was moving a lot quicker than the lower half. <laughs> yeah, for sure. An 18-yard carry there by Robinson. And it's first and 10 once more. Here's Ryan. And he's inside the 30 to the 29, and then they drive him backwards once more. He might only give him the 30-yard line here. Pick up of two. Again, tackle by committee. Now they do give him the 34. Still only two. Or 29, I should say. See, it's getting in my head and those hash marks out there. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely hard to keep track of. Inside six minutes to go in the first half. United Valley with the lead. Danish is going to keep it himself. Come to the left. Cut it inside the would-be tackler. He's got himself a first down. He just slid up the field. Got it to the 20-yard line. It's a nice run. Yeah, Todd, he, he turned sideways. sort of sidestepped that tackler. You don't see very many guys do that and keep moving upfield. But he got right by that tackler and got the first down. So they do slide it back to the 20. So give them an eight yard carry. And back inside the Citizens Ambulance red zone, go the Mount Union Trojans. First and 10, pitch left, Robinson. Get him around the ankle, that was Nedrick. Does stretch forward and get a yard. Second and nine coming up. Yeah, Todd Nedrick did a great job of shooting the hole in that line there and grabbing him around the ankle to limit that gain to, I guess, just one. United Valley on the first couple of possessions, pretty stout. These last couple, they bent a little bit. Second down and nine, Danish handed off to Ryan. Nice little move to the inside and he gets inside the 15 yard line. And it'll be third down and short. He's down to about the 13. He needs three. And 
as they try to get what for they help will be a tying score with the touchdown and a two. 4-13 left in the first half. Danish. Ryan bounces off. He's got the first down. He's inside the five, heading for the end zone, and he's in. A 13-yard touchdown run for Ryan. And Mount Union now within two. Yeah, Todd, we talked about how strong a runner Ryan is. He broke two tackles on that play. You know, he slipped out of one by Colin Nedrick, and uh, DePaulo was there too, and neither one of them could bring him down. He's, he's a very strong runner. So Mount Union, having failed on their kick last time, will go for two to try to tie this game. They convert the turnover into points. Danish will roll to his left. He's just going to try to keep it himself and get in there, and I don't think he will. United Valley turns him away. The two-point conversion fails. 3.58 left in the first half, 14 to 12. United Valley leading Mount Union. You are watching District 6 Playoff AA action on Renda Digital TV. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money, all from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. Robindale and its affiliated companies are proud to be a sponsor of all student athletes in the area. For nearly two decades, Robindale has been cleaning up refuse coal piles that dot and scar the western Pennsylvania landscape. To reclamate and beautify these areas, Robindale believes deeply in safety, compliance, and community responsibility. If you would like to become a part of the Robindale team, you can contact them at 814-446-6700, extension 122, or see how Robindale can assist your business at robindale.com. We are back at United High School. We'll get you some scores from our action here tonight. In just a moment, Mount Union has scored again to make it 14 to 12. Our second quarter tonight brought to you by Robin Gorman and Mike Keith for Indiana County Commissioner. Our drive summary, built Ford proud drive summary driven by Luther Ford, two locations, Route 119 in Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. That drive by Mount Union Covers 79 yards in 10 plays, 4 minutes and 48 seconds off the clock to make it 14 to 12. And Danish will kick it off. DePaulo and McCulley are back. He'll pound it deep to McCulley. He'll field it at the 9. To the 20, McCauley looks for space. He gets to the 30, to the 35, the 40-yard line. McCauley try to make a move on Danny. She's to the 50 and out of bounds. Wait, so it does a great return by McCauley. And if uh, if if um if Danish didn't have an angle on him, he would have been down the sideline. Caden McCauley gets it to the 41 of Mount Union. That is a 51-yard return. Well, let's see if they actually say he stepped out of bounds at the 40. Six yard line. 348 to go in the half. United Valley ball leading by two. And on first down, Worthington will hand it off to the second man. That's Nedrick. And he's down to about the 43, a pickup of three. He is tackled by Ryan. They actually give him five on that. Second down, five coming up. Brown spit wide to the left. DePaulo wide to the right. Worthington takes the snap. Back to pass, rolls to his right, releases down the field. He's going long for Travis and can't hold on. 
just out of reach. Yeah, that's a shame, Todd. He was actually wide open in that secondary. If he's able to lead him a little more up the field, I think he has a uh, catch there for a touchdown. Look on the render replay here. The ball just sails out of bounds a little bit, just out of reach. Other scores, Class A, 14 to nothing. Northern Cambria leading Marion Center. Purchase line, 7-7 seven, seven in their game against Mo Valley. Penn's Manor is at Juniata Valley and leading 20 to nothing. Wow. Forest Hills over River Valley, 14 to nothing. Here's Worthington, rolls to his left. Now he's gonna tuck it and drive it inside the 40 to about the 38, maybe the 37. He's shy of the first down by about a yard. Todd, the way he was running there, it looks like he was trying to maybe throw that downfield. He didn't really cut up field hard. He was kind of just waiting to see what the defender did, but ultimately there was no one to throw to, and he just tried to pick up as many yards as he could. Fourth down and a yard for United Valley. 37-yard line, key play of this first half with 2.30 to go. Here come the Lions. Nedrick and McCauley behind Worthington, who steps under center, goes for the quick snap and drives forward. He's got the first down and plenty more. He's inside the 35 to the 34-yard line, a pickup of three for Worthington. Todd, that's very similar to the play we saw Mountain Union score on from the one-yard line. A lot of offenses do that now. Just get the quarterback under center, snap the ball, and everybody rushes forward. It's usually successful for a short yardage gain. From the Mountain Union, 34 now. Worthington in the gun. McCauley offset to his right. The carry for Worthington, or McCauley. McCauley breaks free again. He's inside the 25-yard line. Brought down at about the 23. A pickup of, looks like 12 yards for Caden McCauley. Minute 47, plenty of time, but remember they did use a timeout. In fact, they used two timeouts earlier in this first half, so they only have one timeout left. First and 10 from the 22. Worthington, McCulley's carry off the left side, another big hole, he uses the blocker, gets out of bounds and stops the clock. And it looks like they'll give him the 13. Yeah, Todd, Braden Brown was the one downfield block in there, did a good job of holding his defender off and let him get out of bounds, stop the clock. Yet another trip inside the Citizens Ambulance red zone. Citizens Ambulance can help you, you could help them by becoming a member today. Second at a yard and are they asking for a measurement? The ball's still over on the sideline. Yeah, they are, they're gonna measure for this. And so they'll walk it all the way across the field. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Young and Associates and by Joyce Plumbing and Heating. And they'll stretch out the stick here. I think he's short, but we shall see. He is short. By about a half a yard. Second question, did he get out of bounds to stop that clock? I believe he did. Yes, I believe he did, Todd. Which with 124 left in the half becomes key. Cambria Heights West Branch tied at six in their game, another Heritage Conference team. River Valley coming back on Forest Hills. That one's a high scoring game. 20 to 13 Forest Hills in that one. So on second down and a yard. Worthington hustles under center again and again he drives it forward. He's inside the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal United Valley. And Todd, if that play is working on a short yardage, why would you ever change it? That time, the defensive front for Mount Union was not set. 
when uh, when Worthington came up under center, there was a big gap there. He just took the snap and went right between the, the guard and the tackle. You wonder if that's a recognition thing by him or if that's designed that way. First and goal for United Valley, a minute left in the first half. Worthington keeps it himself, drives it inside the 10 and close to the six yard line, maybe close to the five. But now we're inside a minute to go. He'll put it right on the five. It's a five yard gain, second and goal. Fans a little bit worried about timing, but they ought to be okay. Worthington takes the snap, rolls to his right. Looking to throw, now he'll tuck it. He'll drive toward the end zone. They'll be stopped shy. 22 seconds now, they'll have to use that last time out. Timeout, United Valley. Third down and goal coming up when we are back here on Renda Digital TV. The engineering firm of Young & Associates is proud to sponsor high school athletics. With offices in Indiana, Catanning, and Johnstown, Young & Associates is a full-service engineering, surveying, and design firm for private, public, and municipal entities, covering Western Pennsylvania, delivering solutions in a timely and cost-competitive manner. To see how they can be of service to you, go online to wjyaengineers.com. We are back, just checking that spot, and they were adjusting the clock as well. 20 seconds left in the half. Third down and goal, United Valley at the one yard line, leading at 14 to 12. They, if they do not score on this play, they're really gonna have to hustle. Worthington, out of the gun. Takes the snap, rolls to his right. He looks for the edge, and he is in. The touchdown from Isaac Worthington. Four straight carries at the end of that drive for Isaac, his first score of the night. And it is 20 to 12, United Valley. I told you, you see on the replay here, he took it around the right side. The blocking did a great job of sealing that right side and he basically walked right into the end zone. The extra point will be a two point conversion attempt. Worthington out of the gun. He'll send a man in motion to Paulo. Take the snap. And he is hit as he releases in the end zone. Is that good? It is. And that was Gino DePaolo again. The two-point conversion is good. United Valley 22. Mount Union 12. And you are watching District 6 playoff action on Renda Digital TV. Koi's Pizza, Route 56, and the top of Nolo Hill, Route 422, would like to wish the United Valley Lions the best of luck in District 6 playoffs. Before or after the game, make the stop at Koi's Pizza for their perfect pizza with delicious cheese, perfect toppings, wings, stromboli, and your favorite cold beverage. Koi's Pizza, Route 56, and the top of Nolo Hill, Route 422. It's always a great time for Koi's Pizza. Mike Keith and I are ready to be reelected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county we said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband. We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And, and go, go Lions! Lions. Hey, United Valley will put the kickoff out of bounds, not give Mount Union a chance at returning this ball. 
And that's a smart play there, Todd. They have 16 seconds till the half. They just got to score. They don't want to do anything silly here. Now, actually, oh, Mountain Union's going to make them re-kick it, actually. That is their option when it goes out of bounds. And so maybe they tried to fool them a little bit into that. They'll try it again. And might have to hold the ball. Seeing that wind looks like much of a factor. No, it doesn't. Okay. Back to base, and here we go. Nedrick's kick on the ground. Fielded at the 30 by Robinson. He's up that left sideline, caught and driven out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. So with 11 seconds left in the half, Mount Union will get the ball. And they will put it at the 39. And we'll see what they want to do with it. And Todd, we have not seen Danish throw much tonight, but this may be a, a, a time where they want to throw downfield because they still do have timeouts. So they could even use the middle of the field if they wanted to uh, on this last drive. Yeah, they've got two timeouts left. They'll put twins to the right. Now, one of those receivers will come to the left and Robinson will be isolated by himself on their right side, and they'll look for him. He stumbles getting off the line, though, and now the quarterback, Danish, is in trouble, and he'll go down. The sack by United Valley. And that's who I think it is. It's a young man's had a really big first half. Is that Dylan Stevens again? Looks like it. And Mount Union will let the clock run out. We have played a half of football. Actually, they called a timeout there, Todd. Did they call the timeout? They did. Three seconds left. Well, why would they do such a thing and mess up my call like that? So we've not played a half of football just yet. It's an eight-yard loss. Mount Union wants one more shot at this. But Todd, you mentioned, you know, as we saw Robinson come off the line, he slipped yet again. I think that's the third time we've seen him do that tonight. Yeah. Uh, the field looks to be in very good shape. We haven't had rain here for a couple days. Uh, I don't know if he's wearing different cleats or, uh, or maybe not a, what he expected on this grass surface. But he might even be wearing a sneaker. But he's had all kinds of footing problems. He's been skating around out there. And United Valley will put three or four guys back to play center field here. And make sure nobody gets behind him. Three seconds left in the half. And the snap, there should have been a flag there for movement, but there wasn't. Danish will roll to his left. Now he sets, gets by a rusher, gets by another. He's way back in the backfield, and this pass will be caught by Ryan and then dropped. And are they going to rule it a catch or not? They're going to say, yeah, good for seven yards, and that will end the half. United Valley leads it 22 to 12 as we head to halftime. You are watching Renda Digital TV. When your vehicle needs tended to, take it to Baroni's Auto Care. Baroni's Auto Care inspects, does minor repairs including brakes and exhausts, as well as oil changes and tune-ups. And if you're looking for tires, Baroni's Auto Care sells all brands. Baroni's Auto Care is currently accepting new customers. So when your vehicle needs inspected or repaired, take it to Baroni's Auto Care right off Route 56. Look for the sign in Brush Valley. This is State Senator Joe Pittman wishing all of our student athletes and their families every success. Friday Night Lights are always exciting and I recognize how important it is for students to be involved in activities whether it be in athletics or the performing arts. I salute not only all of our students, but also all who guide them on and off the gridiron. And I wish all of our hometown teams the best of luck this season. 
Looking to experience luxury with your next vehicle? Then look no further than Luther Lincoln. From the full-size Lincoln Navigator to the mid-size Lincoln Aviator or the Lincoln Nautilus and Corsair crossovers, Luther has the Lincoln you want. With complimentary pickup and delivery for service or being able to schedule your service appointments online, Luther Lincoln wants to make your experience a pleasant one. Luther Lincoln, your choice for Lincoln. Route 119, Homer City. Click on LutherLincoln.net. Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. We are back at United High School, where tonight at halftime, United Valley with a 22 to 12 lead over Mount Union. I'm adding up some numbers from that first half. We'll try to get those stats to you in our halftime. Our halftime report brought to you by Luther Ford. Built Ford proud. Luther Ford with two locations, Route 119 in Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. First half scoring summary. It's pretty colorful. United Valley recovers a fumble at the Mount Union 48 on the very first possession of the game and the Lions two plays later get a 50 yard touchdown run from Caden McCulley. The kick is blocked at 6 to nothing with 10-20 left in the first quarter. After Mount Union gambled on fourth down and was stopped fourth down and five they were stopped on an incomplete pass and handed the ball to United Valley at the 40-yard line. And United Valley then went on a five-play 40-yard drive, covered two minutes and 34 seconds. McCauley's second touchdown of the game from 18 yards out. And then Isaac Worthington hit Gino DiPaolo with a two-point conversion pass to make it 14 to nothing. Mount Union then got its first score of the night on its next possession. A 13-play drive covered five minutes and 32 seconds and 79 yards. The touchdown coming on a one-yard run by the quarterback, Danish. Uh, the kick failed, however, and it was 14 to six. After United Valley threw an interception on their next possession, Mount Union, the second straight possession on which they score and score on a long drive. 59 yards, took 10 minutes, or 10 plays, four minutes and 48 seconds, and the touchdown run, 13 yards by Josh Ryan. Another two-point conversion failure, and it's 14 to 12 United Valley with 3.58 left in that first half. Uh, and so the Lions took the football at the Mount Union 46 after a great return of, of about 51 yards by Caden McCulley. And uh, then they took off on a 10-play, 54-yard drive that basically drained the clock in that first half. They took it with 348, and after they scored, there was only 16 seconds left on the clock. And it was uh, Isaac Worthington with four straight carries at the end of the drive covering three, five, three, and then one yard for the touchdown on uh, United Valley's side. The two-point conversion, again, a pass to Gino DiPaolo. Great play when you go back and look at that. The two-point conversion is good. It is 22 to 12 at the half. And our Luther Ford halftime commercial break continues. It is 22 to 12 United Valley on Renda Digital TV. When your vehicle needs tended to, take it to Baroni's Auto Care. Baroni's Auto Care inspects, does minor repairs including brakes and exhausts, as well as oil changes and tune-ups. And if you're looking for tires, Baroni's Auto Care sells all brands. Baroni's Auto Care is currently accepting new customers. So when your vehicle needs inspected or repaired, take it to Baroni's Auto Care right off Route 56. Look for the sign in Brush Valley. Hi, this is Shireen Hess, Indiana County Commissioner. I'm running for re-election because I want to help build a better future for Indiana County. 
In my first two terms, I've worked to get services to those in need, support our small businesses, and create safer and stronger communities. In my third term, I will use my experience and knowledge to do even more. I hope I have earned your vote for another term. Let's keep the train moving forward. Vote for Shireen Hess. Paid for by friends of Shireen Hess. At IRMC, we have all of the necessary pieces in place to perform complex operations, including highly skilled and specially trained surgeons, their support team of experts, and advanced technology like the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. As a result, patients spend less time in the hospital, recover faster, and get treated close to home. So there's no reason to puzzle over where you should get your surgical care. The answer is right here at IRMC. Hello, this is Jay and Shannon from Hutton Blues Insurance. We pride ourselves on building strong personal relationships with our clients. We are an independent agency offering you the best coverage at the best rate. When you buy insurance, whether it's for your home, car, business, or life, you want an advocate working in your best interests. And that's Hutton Blues Insurance, Route 119 North, just outside of Indiana. We're also honored to have been voted in the top two insurance companies in the 2324 Best of Indiana County Contest. Thank, Thank you, Indiana, Indiana County. County. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money. All from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. Have you dreamed of blazing fast internet speeds and unlimited data? Well, dream no more. Introducing SeaWorld, your gateway to a seamless online experience. Thanks to T-Mobile's revolutionary 5G internet, you can now get lightning fast connectivity right in the comfort of your own home. And it's only $50 a month. For more details, call Brian, SeaWorld's friendly and knowledgeable sales representative at 724-463-3200, extension 122. SeaWorld, the future of internet is here. The engineering firm of Young & Associates is proud to sponsor high school athletics. With offices in Indiana, Catanning, and Johnstown, Young & Associates is a full-service engineering, surveying, and design firm for private, public, and municipal entities, covering western Pennsylvania, delivering solutions in a timely and cost-competitive manner. To see how they can be of service to you, go online to wjyaengineers.com. up numbers in this first half and Mount Union actually with uh, more total offense than United Valley in that first half but uh, we'll get into some of these numbers here as soon as I add in a couple of sacks and there's one and I know I have two in that first half two for minus 14 And the numbers in that first half for Mount Union, 166 yards of total offense for United Valley, 121. Caden McCulley leading all rushers in the game with 94 yards. Of course, he carried for 50 for that touchdown on the first play uh, or first possession of the game for United Valley. Uh, Isaac Worthington with 17 yards rushing and Colin Nedrick with 10. That's 121 on the ground, over two passing with the pick. Uh, for United Valley, 121 yards of total offense. For Mount Union, Bryce Danish, the quarterback, 62 yards on the ground, and Ryan Kelly, the fullback, with 56. 22 on the carry tonight for Robinson. That's 140 yards rushing. Five out of six for 40 yards through the air. That's 180 yards. Uh, but two sacks for minus 14, 166 yards of total offense for uh, Mount Union penalties in that first half. United Valley had none called on them. Mount Union had two for 15 yards, a rather cleanly played first half. You hear those numbers, Jeff. What do you think? Yeah, we knew that Mount Union was going to be able to move the ball. And so far in the first half, United Valley has done a very good job. They come up with a, a key turnover on that first drive. And they put together some nice drives on themselves. That one right before half to answer 
and to go up another score I think was key because if you're going to trade touchdowns with Mount Union the rest of this game, you better be ahead to do it, Todd, you know? I think one of the interesting things about it as well was uh, that uh, United Valley was worried about the return game of Mount Union, but it should have been the other way around because yeah. uh, United Valley received two kicks in that first half and they did very well with them. They, they sure had did. long kickoff returns. DePaulo had one and they covered about 40 yards and about 51 I counted for uh, McCauley on his. And that gave them great starting field position and you mentioned they have less yardage. Well, that's why. They've gotten some great returns, given them, given themselves short fields to start with and they've converted those into points on most drives. All right, so we're at halftime. Do you need more over there, or do you want to listen to the band? It's up to you. Let's listen to the band a little bit. The United Valley Band entertaining us tonight. That's a nice job, wasn't it? It is 22 to 12 at the half. United Valley leading Mount Union. District 6 playoff action. We'll come back, give you the scoreboard as we have it to now. You're watching Renda Digital TV. Hey, Jen, where do you want to eat? Mm, how about Fox's Pizza in Seward? Fox's Pizza in Seward? Yeah, they have a great menu, and you get rewarded. Rewarded? Yes, for every dollar you spend, you can earn points that you can redeem for free food. Free food? Now you're talking. And you can download their app and order online. Okay, let's do it. Get rewarded. Start earning $10 at Fox's Pizza Den, Roadway Plaza in Seward. Luther Ford, one trusted name, two great locations. Right now at Luther Ford, drive off in a new F-Series truck, Ford Ranger, Ford Maverick, or the all-electric F-150 Lightning. Check out the Ford Bronco, Bronco Sport, Eco Sport, Escape, Explorer, Expedition, Edge, and Mustang Mach-E. And always look at the exciting Ford Mustang. Luther Ford, one trusted name, two great locations, Route 119 Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway, Evansburg. LutherFord.com. Mike Keith and I are ready to be re-elected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county that we said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband. We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And, and go, go Lions! So what sets S&T apart from other financial institutions is that they are visionary. Now, we understand that it is partially about the numbers, but they know it's not just about the numbers. It's about the management team, it's about the strategic and business plan, it's about how the team is going to execute on that. In short, S&T gets it. Quite honestly, we couldn't have done it without S&T. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your local Erie agent is William G. Meckling Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 724-465-4261 or visit mecklinginsurance.com. Very rate lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. And we are back at United High School, where at the half it is 22 to 12. United Valley leading Mount Union. Other scores that we have for you. Now, we haven't had a purchase line update for a while. Last we heard from that game, it was 7-7. Seven to seven. 
other games uh, for which we do have updated scores tonight. At the half, Forest Hills leading River Valley 34-14. Northern Cambria, a 24-0 lead over Marion Center. Penn's Manor leads Juniata Valley 20-0. Cambria Heights 12, West Branch 6. And so the last score we have on Purchase Line in Mo Valley was 7-7 seven to seven in the first. Uh, so here it is at the half, it's 14 to seven. At the half, purchase line with the lead there. So our two ball clubs are back out. And here come the Lions. We'll have second half football action in just a moment. Jeff, what do the Lions have to do in this second half? Well, you know, they've done a lot of good things, obviously, in the first half to lead to the score being 22 to 12. I think the key for their defense is going to be if they can hold up to the combo of Danish and Ryan. They're both big, punishing runners, and if they keep feeding them the ball, the Lions will, you know, eventually wear down. But so far, they've done a very good job handling both those strong runners. And as long as they can keep tackling them, they've done a great job of bringing multiple ball uh, tacklers to the ball carrier. They're not trying to take them on one-on-one -on -one, because we've seen when you try to do that, they will break tackles, and that's how they scored one of their touchdowns, Mountain Union did. But as long as they can handle that rushing attack, you know, they're, they, they've got a 10-point lead right now. And uh, I think that's going to be key for them to close out this game with a win. Yeah, well, Kevin Marabito said before the game that uh, if we can hold on to the football ourselves and chew up the clock a little bit, that'll have go a long way toward determining who wins this game. And so their best defense might be a ball control offense. Yeah, and we've seen that a lot in the first half. They, they had some longer drives, but they didn't need to take longer drives yardage-wise. As you mentioned, Todd, they had some great kickoff returns, gave them very good starting field positions. So they, they possessed the ball, but didn't have as much yardage. How important is this first possession of the third quarter? My goodness, you've got a 22-12 to 12 lead, and you get the football. Yeah, I really, th I really think it sets the tone for the whole second half here, Todd. So all of those scores that we gave to you, that 24-0 Northern Cambria lead over Marion Center, that's on Renda Digital TV. Um, most of the problem areas in this football game or football first weekend of the playoffs uh, uh, for Heritage Conference teams, uh, those come in the form of uh, the River Valley score. Uh, they are down at the half and uh, Marion Center, of course, but they're playing a Heritage Conference team. Purchase line leading 14-7 to over Mo Valley in their game. And that Forest Hills program is notoriously tough, too, Todd. I knew that River Valley was going to have uh, a pretty tough game on their hands with, with Forest Hills coming there. 34-14 in the half there, Forest Hills with the lead. As we said, Northern Cambria 24-0 over Marion Center. Purchase line 14, Mo Valley 7 at the half. Penn's Manor a 20-0 lead over Juniata Valley at the half. That's a big score. Cambria Heights 12 to 6 over West Branch. So some interesting scores. We'll of course sum it all up tomorrow morning on the Luther Ford Coach's Corner. Meanwhile, the kickoff of the second half. And DePaulo will field it at the 20. Work across the field, spin off of one tackle, but can't get by the second. He's down at the 23. So that's where United Valley takes the football. Caden McCulley usually has a bigger second half than first because he's been pounding the football away at them and teams usually get the idea that we don't like tackling that guy. You get to the second half. Yeah, guys do get tired of tackling those strong ball carriers. So we'll see if that's the case here. Nedrick and McCulley open in the backfield with the quarterback Worthington in the pistol. On first down. The snap and the carry is Nedricks, and he stopped at the 25 yard line, a gain of two on the bottom of that pile for Mount Union was Xavier Peck. Second and eight coming up. As 
uh, this is what he would love to do. Nedrick comes up and looks like he's got a bit of a groin problem as he comes off the field. Brown splits wide left. DePaulo wide right. McCulley in the backfield. The single set back behind Worthington. And here's Caden McCulley. Turns those shoulders, but there's nothing there for him on this one. As he's brought down by a big Savio Danish, 6'1", 275-pound senior. No gain. And Todd Nedrick's coming back in the game, so obviously he must be feeling a little better. Let's call that. Let's not call it anything. He feels better. That's good. Yeah. We're good on that. Third down, eight to go. Worthington in the gun. Takes the snap, rolls to his right. He's got blocking ahead of him. Down the field he goes. He's got his man. That's DePaulo. And that's a first down out to the 35. They drive him back. I don't know why the officials waited so long to blow that whistle. But that's a nine-yard gain on the completion to Gino DePaulo. Yeah, the forward progress takes that out to the 35-yard line for a first down. So the first official completion of the game, besides the two two-point conversions to DePaulo, and we've seen those fellas hook up all night long. They're all season long, actually. First and 10, United Valley. They keep moving the sticks, keep chewing up the clock, leading at 22 to 12. And on first down, they'll run option. Worthington will slip by one. That's a nice run, and now he's free to the 45 to 50. Worthington to the 45 of Mount Union will step out of bounds down at about the 38-yard line. That's just a beautiful run by Isaac Worthington. Remember, he missed, I think, two and a half games uh, with that knee injury earlier in the season, and so he might not be as quick as he once was at the beginning of this season, but that was pretty sweet there. Yeah, tell it on the replay here. You see he did a nice job of jumping inside that block and getting down the sideline for that big gain. 27 yards on the run by Worthington. Into Mount Union territory on first and 10. McCulley. Defense is there. And he goes down. Well, the officials won't let that. That should be a flag. The Hayden Inch drove him backwards. The whistle blew, and he just kept going until he brought him down. Yeah, Todd, they're letting them sort of play after the whistle, and that's, that's a recipe for some problems later on in the game if they don't sort of uh, stop that now. Yeah, well, the problem becomes when they suddenly decide, well, now we're going to flag it. Yeah, and then the other well, coach says, well, you weren't, haven't been calling it all night. Football at the 39-yard line of Mount Union, second down and 10. Worthington calls the signals, takes the snap, Three steps and then release. Looking for Brown, it's ahead of him, falls incomplete. Third down coming up. We have an injured player down from Mount Union. And a, flag, a flag on the play. A flag underneath him. Injured player is Peck, he gets back up. So what happened on that play, Todd, was the line uh, was cut blocking for that screen pass. And we're gonna see if maybe there was two guys engaged with him. Yep, that's what the call's gonna be. So that'll be, is that 15? Or is that 10? We'll find out in a second. It is gonna be 15. So put the football back at the United Valley 46. Yeah, Todd, I said, you're allowed to do that as a lineman as long as there's only one guy blocking him. But on that play, uh, two guys tried to block him and that's where you get the illegal block there. And so second down and 25 for United Valley. I, they did have a 15-yarder in the first half, too. I said at the halftime that they hadn't had any penalties. Worthington rolls to his right. Pressure, and he releases. He's going long. He's got a man. Nedrick is all by himself. He can't hold on. Mm. Would have been a first down and a whole bunch more, possibly. But Cullen just could not haul that one in. It falls incomplete. Third down coming up. And Todd, on the replay, you see there, Worthington took one heck of a shot when he released that ball. It was a clean play, but man, did he get hit hard. So it'll be third down now and 25 to go. Our third quarter 
presented by Friends of Jim Struzzi here on Renda Digital TV. United Valley football, third down, 25 to go. From their 46, Worthington. Back to pass, he'll step up. He's being rushed, gets out of one tackle and can't get away from the second. Peck gets him down right at the 50 yard line. So it's a pickup of only four and it will be fourth down from the 50 and DePaulo will be forced to punt. You know, that gain there just makes it a much more manageable punting situation. Hope you can pin Mount Union deep here, kicking from uh, your own 50 yard line. So Mount Union will put Jason Robinson back. And the punt, oh, the two will let it go between them and United Valley falls on it. Oh my goodness gracious, what a mistake. Nasir Collins and Jason Robinson converge together and Robinson is claiming it touched no one. We'll watch it on the replay. It absolutely did. It touched number 11, the Sierra Collins. Robinson was waving away to get away from the ball. He thought he was signaling for a fair catch. Uh, uh, Collins did. They were just not on the same page, and the ball did hit number 11, Collins, on the leg. And so they take over in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Citizens Ambulance red zone. United Valley with the opportunity to take advantage of a big play here, but there's a whistle before the play. And they're sending Gino DiPaolo off the field. Equipment it, issue? It looks like either chin strap, mouth guard, face mask, whatever. He's gonna have to come off for a play to get that fixed and he'll be replaced by Ryland Garver. And so once again, United Valley. Citizens Ambulance Red Zone. First and 10, Worthington gives it to McCullough. Makes the cut up inside the outside backer. Gets to the 14, second down and eight coming up. DePaulo's coming back on the field, Todd, so whatever it was was a minor equipment issue he got fixed on the sideline. They do love to use Brown in these situations in the second half as well. Braden Brown, and we've not heard from him tonight. He splits wide to the left, DePaulo to the right on second down. They actually gave McCauley three at second and seven. And he'll try it again, same play. Come on, coach! And we'll see where they spot this one. Looks like a gain of close to two more and make it third down and we'll call it six. Looks like his ball's at the 11 or 12 down there, Todd. Third down now. And the Lions up to the line of scrimmage. 6.51 on a rolling clock here in the third quarter. United Valley looking to take advantage of another Mountain Union turnover. And Worthington rolls, releases. He's got a man. And inside the five yard line, it will be first and goal. There should be a penalty flag there and there's not. Nedrick was the receiver. And not only did he throw him down, but then he stepped over him, which should be a penalty. Yeah, Todd, I'm looking here on the replay. Georgie Bilger uh, making the, that play. Yeah, the tackle was part of the play, but it was when he got up and sort of pushed on him again and tried to sort of step on him that was kind of, that was a little borderline. So that was a 10 yard gain to the three. It's first and goal. Now here's Worthington. Rolls to his right. Thought he had a hole, but it wasn't there. He's down and the ball came free, but it was well after the play. Danish picked it up and had the whole field to run in front of him. So they spot the football at the three, no gain. Second down and goal for United Valley. 541. And they can afford to keep this football as long as they can before they punch it in. Worthington rolls again to his right. He's rushed and he's in trouble and down he goes. The sack. 
breaking through there for Mount Union trying to catch that number. Did you That's see number it? 22, Hunter Steele. Hunter Steele makes the sack and it is all the way back at the 13. So it's a 10 yard loss. That is very costly. Third down and goal coming up from the 13 for United Valley. Mount Union trying to turn away this drive. They got the football with 11.54 to go. And they've got it down to 4.45 thanks to the fumbled punt snap. Now Worthington back to pass. He's caught and he's sacked again back at the 25. And it was steeled again. Unfortunately, Todd, that takes them out of any chance of maybe even trying to attempt a field goal here. The sack is an 11 yard loss. And it will be fourth down and goal from the 25 yard line. So it's one of those cases where you've kept the football for a good long time. You want to roll out and try to push it up the field as far as you can before you give it back. Yep. Worthington in the gun once more. He's back to pass. He'll release and look for the corner. Jump ball down there, and he induced the interception. And that's actually a play that works to United Valley's benefit. It is the second pick of the game by Corty Williams for Mount Union. It came right around the goal line. They would have had the ball out at the 25. And they're going to call a media timeout here. 22 to 12. United Valley with the lead. You're watching District 6 AA Playoff Football on Renda Digital TV. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money, all from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. Every moment. Had Mount Union batted down that fourth down pass, they would have had it at 25. Instead, they get it at the six after the interception by Williams. And on first down, Danish will carry it for four. And actually only three to the nine. 22 to 12 United Valley. So they had the football from the opening kickoff all the way to the 347 mark without Mountain Union ever touching it. They would have loved to have gotten the points, but this is pretty good consolation prize. On second down, Danish. He'll keep it, he'll run through a tackle, then be stopped short of the first down. Getting the hand on him on that far side. I believe it was Evan Thomas. Yeah, it was. It'll be third down and a long two. Two forty-five left in this quarter. Mount Union deep in their territory. Danish, the quarterback, will take the snap, roll to his right. United Valley is there, he'll have to pitch it. He does to Robinson. Robinson spins to the 20, the 15 yard line. He is downed. United player is down, but gets back up. He is short of the first down. Ball right on the 15, they need the 16 solidly for the first down. And so, Mount Union, do they punt here? They've not punted yet tonight. And we won't really know, Todd, because 
Danish is the, uh, the quarterback and the punter. And he's going to line up the same way they did on the fake punt that they were stopped short on in the first half. Danish rolls to his right. He's going to keep it himself. And look for the first down. Stretches the ball forward. He got the first down out at the 19. So a gamble. And they're able to keep going. That is quite a gamble, Todd, backed up inside your own 20. But Mountain Union needs to score some points as the clock is quickly running away from them here in the third quarter. 146 left. He got out of bounds to stop the clock there. They trail only by 10 points, so there's a lot of time left in this game. But there's a lot of football field between them and the end zone, and they need two scores. So on first and 10, here comes Mount Union. The snap and Danish is back to pass. Now he'll tuck and release it across the center of the football field and it is incomplete. Looking for Robinson that overthrew him. Nedrick on the defense. That's one situation there, Todd, where Danish is still on the move. I think if he had stopped to set his feet, he probably would have made a little more accurate throw there. But when he's, when he's running like that, he was able to overthrow his receiver. With as much space as he had in front of him, he should have just tucked it. Incomplete stops the clock with 140 and second and 10 coming up from the 19 yard line. United Valley defense playing hard against a team that can do a lot with the ball and Mount Union is going to have to call timeout. Indeed they do. A timeout called by Mount Union. And we'll take a timeout as well. 22 to 12 United Valley with the lead on Renda Digital TV. Did you know Citizens Ambulance Service is there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Did you know the annual Citizens Ambulance Membership Drive is starting? Be on the lookout for membership renewal envelopes in your mailbox. To become a new member, it's super easy this year. Look for the QR codes in the community. Just scan the code and it will take you to the membership page. Household memberships help cover the cost of being ready 24-7 for the community. Becoming a new member is easy this year. Citizens Ambulance Service, community support makes it work. We're the lifeblood of the community. It's so much more than just a job. So good patient care is providing top quality care, but also in a timely fashion. They don't need to go to Pittsburgh for that. They can stay right here in their backyard. So when a patient walks into your office, you receive them as your family member. A patient leaves my office feeling heard. And the focus truly is on what will get us our best patient outcome. Tonight's game presented by Joyce Plumbing and Heating and by Young and Associates here on Renda Digital TV, second and 10. And the handoff is to Ryan. Try to get outside, and he does. Got through one tackler, but not the second and third. And he is downed among the tacklers there for United Valley. Is that Ethan Coyle over there? And 42, Colin Nedrich. The gain is five. It'll be third and five for Mount Union. They've already shown that they are not shy about going for it on fourth down, so it's kind of odd to say it, but at the 25, you're in two down territory on third and five. They very well may be. Inside a minute to go in the third quarter. Triple receivers right. And Danish, he'll go back to the left. He's got the first down and a whole bunch more. He's got more. He's out to the 40, runs into his own guy. He's to the 50-yard line, to the United Valley 40, chased to the 30-yard line, and he steps out of bounds. There is a flag way back at the line of scrimmage on the 25-yard line. We will await the signal and maybe call this all the way back. One would assume. That flag is thrown in the classic location for holding, Todd. He busted out of there, and he's a very creative young runner. Now comes the signal from John Garitano. It is a face mask on United Valley. Wow. The run will stand. And the football is all the way down at the 26-yard line of the Lions. Lions. 
Oh, so, Todd, on the replay there on the tackle, when the guy missed him in the backfield, he had grabbed his face mask. That's what the flag was for. So that is a 49-yard run by the quarterback, Danish. And so they've definitely dug themselves out of the hole. It is first, they're adding the penalty on to the end of the run. They gave them five more yards at the end of the run. What are you doing? They declined the penalty. Something wrong there. Coach Mirabito is asking for an explanation. I don't think he got one he liked there, Todd. They gave him the yardage and they gave him the penalty. Ryan will get the carry and he breaks into the secondary. He's going to take it all away. 21 yards, the touchdown run for Josh Ryan. It was not a personal foul because they only marked off five yards. That makes all kinds of no sense. Yeah, I don't understand the uh, execution of that penalty there, Todd. So the drive covers 94 yards. We'll have to get an explanation on that one, and Danish will try the extra point out of the hold of E.J. Boozel. Eight plays. The hold and the kick is up, and it is no good. United Valley leads it 22-18 with 32 seconds left in the third quarter. You are watching District 6 playoff action here on Renda Digital TV. The engineering firm of Young & Associates is proud to sponsor high school athletics. With offices in Indiana, Catanning, and Johnstown, Young & Associates is a full-service engineering, surveying, and design firm for private, public, and municipal entities. Covering Western Pennsylvania, delivering solutions in a timely and cost-competitive manner. To see how they can be of service to you, go online to wjyaengineers.com. Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. Back on Renda Digital TV, the kickoff by Mount Union. And they will drive Gino DiPaolo back to the nine-yard line. He fumbles the football, picks it up. Now he looks for room on the sideline, jumps through a potential tackler, gets it out to the 21. That's a, actually a very nice play by him uh, to get to there because they were in real trouble there for a second. Yeah, Todd, that could have been disastrous after that touchdown drive to have a fumble on your kickoff. That would have been that would put, give uh, Mount Union some great field position, but luckily he was able to pick it up and gain some positive yards out. They're going to spot that just past the 20-yard line. 25 seconds left in the third quarter. 22-18, United Valley with the lead. Our third quarter brought to you by friends of Jim Struzzi, proud to back the hometown Lions. Worthington in the gun will hand it to McCulley. Caden looks for some room. Mount Union is on him. Gain is a couple. United Valley can run the rest of this clock out in this third quarter. Mount Union players help McCulley up. Lions will run out. We played three quarters. It is United Valley 22, Mount Union 18. You are watching District 6 playoff football action on Renda Digital TV. Luxembourg's Jewelers, a proud supporter of all the area athletes, would like to wish the best of luck to all the Heritage Conference schools and, of course, the Indiana Little Indians this season. With two convenient locations, Luxembourg's Jewelers is the winning choice for gifts of any occasion. Show your school pride with gifts ranging from beautifully logoed coffee mugs, keychains, money clips, water bottles, and more. From the Indiana Mall to downtown Indiana, Kip, Jeff, and the Luxembourg's team wishes everyone an MVP season. Luxembourg's Jewelers is Indiana's Jeweler. 
Coy's Pizza, Route 56, and the top of Nolo Hill, Route 422, would like to wish the United Valley Lions the best of luck in District 6 playoffs. Before or after the game, make the stop at Coy's Pizza for their perfect pizza with delicious cheese, perfect toppings, wings, stromboli, and your favorite cold beverage. Coy's Pizza, Route 56, and the top of Nolo Hill, Route 422. It's always a great time for Coy's Pizza. Our fourth quarter brought to you by Luther Ford, saluting the Lions with two locations, Route 119 in Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. United Valley leads at 22-18 as we begin the final 12. Second down and eight for the Lions. Football at the 23-yard line. I think it's second and seven. That should be eight. Worthington will flip it out to the corner for Braden Brown. There's a flag on the play. And Braden gets it to the 25-yard line, but we'll check the flag. That would be a bad block on United Valley. It is. They will check with Mount Union to see if they'll accept this penalty, and I believe they will. They do. That'll be 10 yards. And make it second and 12, or rather 18. McCulley behind Worthington. Now the Lions, it becomes a slog for them now. Got to pound out a few here. Send the man in motion. Worthington is back to pass. He's got Nedrick and out across the 21, but another flag. And oh, somebody said something bad and that came well after the play. Mount Union will be flagged for this. It'll be an unsportsmanlike one would assume. So we have to see what the first flag is for now, Todd. And does it matter that one was in the play and one was after? That will make a difference on the, how these penalties are enforced. So, a uh, conference to talk it over. Here come the si signals. United Valley with a bad block and then unsportsmanlike on Mount Union. A, what do you say, illegal shift? Illegal shift, yes, Todd. So that's a five yarder. Sportsmanlike is a dead ball foul. They walk that back to the 10. Then comes the 15 yarder. We'll put the football down at the 25. And that will not be a first down. But it makes it a much more manageable second down and about seven to go. They need the 31, and the football is on the just shy of the 25. Worthington, three men to his right, takes the snap and rolls to his right. He's rushed, and he's in trouble, and down he goes again. And that's the man they've had all kinds of trouble with in this second half, Hunter Steele. Another sack, his third of the half. When they rush at you, that hurriedly a screenplay coming back the other way would be really sweet if you had that in your package yeah you run that play to where the blitz is coming from Todd you're absolutely right that is a nine yard loss and it makes it third down and 15 Isaac Worthington in the gun back to pass play action Flushed out of the pocket, rolls to his left. Worthington, now he'll tuck it. Make a little dip of the shoulder and drive it out. Close to the 30, but shy of the first down, it appears. He got out of bounds. In fact, uh, they pull him back to about the, looks like the 26, and it'll be fourth down. So Isaac with a 10-yard run there. 
But fourth down coming up, and Gino DiPaolo, who was absolutely booming the punt in the first or in the uh, pregame, he's punted once before, and Mount Union fumbled it away to United Valley. Here's DiPaolo again, and it's a good punt. Drive Robinson back to the 31. And he is caught there down at the 35-yard line. But Mount Union now trailing by 22-18. Gets the football with 10-18 left in the fourth quarter. And an opportunity for the Trojans. So Mountain Union, four point deficit. Quarterback is still over at the sideline getting the play. Here he comes. Play clock is at 11 as he gets to the huddle. And so Danish will have to hustle them up. Four seconds, three, two, he got it off with one second. He rolls to his right. Looks to tuck and go and he up to the sideline. Out of bounds in front of the Mount Union bench, and it's a good first down carry out to the 42, it looks like. Seven yard gain. United Valley has to find a way to put the brakes on this Mount Union offense. They've had the football for only one possession here in this second half, but they used that one possession to score a touchdown. The snap, and Ryan is caught in the backfield. He's got a penalty. Oh, there are flags all over the place. In the defensive backfield, there was stuff going on. Uh, on the tackler, there was stuff going on. The face mask, he actually reached out and grabbed Dylan Stevens by the face mask. Now he's showing the referee his helmet. Well, when he went to try and get tackled, he tried to stiff arm him, Todd, and that's where he was grabbing uh, the, United, the United Valley Lions face mask. I, I couldn't see who it was, but that's what the flag is there. In the backfield, I'm not sure, what, or the secondary, I don't know if that's uh, a legal contact downfield. I don't know what that one's going to be. But we got There were two guys that were wrestling at the end of that play. Okay, so we got a lot of flags to sort out here. And the officials are trying to do that now. And Ryan's still lobbying for the face mask to be on him. He's got his helmet off still and motioning the ref that it should have been a penalty called on United. If he's out there without his helmet on, if there's an equipment problem, he has to get to the sideline. Personal foul, face mask on Mount Union. Personal foul, a second personal foul on Mount Union, two personal foul penalties. So the flag was in the secondary, they called on unnecessary roughness on some blocking activity downfield, as, as you mentioned, Todd. And so he was tackled two yards shy of the first down. And do they march this from the end of the play? Which they shouldn't. They should actually march it from the point of the penalty. So there's 15 yards marked off. And they'll set the sticks and then they'll go 15 yards further back. And they'll put the football at the 13 yard line. Well, Todd, this is certainly the break United Valley needed. You know, they've got Mount Union backed up now. They need to get a stop here. Turnover would be great. Anyhow, they've made it a much longer distance for them to go to get to the touchdown. Second down now and 32 to go from the 13-yard line for Mount Union. The pitch right. It's a new quarterback out there, by the way. And there's another penalty flag. The runner for Mount Union is Nasir Collins. And it is a holding penalty on Mount Union. And that'll be half the distance. From the 13 yard line, so they'll put it down between the six and seven.
it is declined actually and they will take the result of the play which was a no gain and that's a smart play Todd that you yeah. give up the down then and it brings up third down and still uh, 32 to go a ways to go yeah so we'll have to check into do you see on the sideline if Danish is over there EJ Boozle is the quarterback and he's back to pass. And he is hit, and down he goes. The sack by United Valley. Now you just gotta make sure you don't commit a penalty back there. Actually, Danish was, Danish was, was Danish. just back out there, yeah. Yeah, that was Danish back out there. And he is hurt there. again, apparently. Er, he's very gingerly getting up. The football is back at the seven. So, so now fourth down and 38. And Danish is not going to punt. He's going to the sideline, so I don't know who's going to punt for them. We'll see if they know. 8.48 on the clock. That's number 80 going back to punt this football. Julian Huffnagel. McCulley is back to receive it. Huffnagel. Line drive will bounce at the Mount Union 44. Roll into... United Valley Territory, it's actually a good result for Mount Union on that punt to the 48-yard line. 8.24 to go. And United Valley gets the football back. Looks like they'll spot it at the 47. Our fourth quarter tonight brought to you by Luther Ford, saluting the Lions with two locations, Route 119 in Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway in Evansburg. Lions looking to hold on to this football. Mount Union's been very aggressive defensively though these last few possessions. Worthington is under center on first down and he'll hand it off. And that'll be Nedrick for nothing, no gain. That's Brown actually. Braden has stopped. And ball security here is very key, Todd. You cannot commit a turnover. Let's burn some time off the clock here. Try and get down the field, get another score if you can, but we don't want to give Mount Union much time left on the clock if they get the ball back. Clock rolls at 7.54 of the fourth quarter. High formation. Brown is your fullback. The pitch is for McCauley, and he lost it. He dives on it. All the way back at the 38. That's just what we talked about, Todd. So that's a team fumble. And back at the 38, it's a loss of nine yards. And so United Valley will again be most likely in the position of having to give that football back up. Unless they can do something here. Worthington is back to pass. He's rushed, he comes to the sideline, releases and threw it right into Ryan, into his leg I believe. He's able to knock it down, incomplete. That stops the clock. And United Valley will have to punt the football away. So not only did they not get the first down, but they also lost that rolling clock. DiPaolo will stand at his 28. Collins and Robinson back to receive DiPaolo's punt. Spiral fielded by Collins who fumbles at the 20 and then he's downed right there. And Garver? Ryan Garver down there with a nice special teams tackle. So, 80 yards away for Mount Union, trailing by four points. With 6.51 to go in the fourth quarter, this is a perilous lead for United Valley. And Danish is back out there. And it looked like he was moving okay. Yep. They actually gave him the 21-yard line for some reason. First down, Danish, 
Handoff up the middle. Ryan drags a couple of fellas with him out across the 25 to the 27 yard line. It's a pickup of six by Ryan. Second down and four. Danish is still not right, Todd. He's flexing his hip or his leg or something after every play. I'm not sure what's bothering him, but something seems to be causing him some discomfort. And they slow him down a bit. But usually that adrenaline takes over and you don't feel that until after the play. On second down, he's gonna swing the pass out for Robinson. He's got room to run. He's across the 30 to the 35 and forced out of bounds on the far side. He made an extra push of the United Valley defender over on that sideline. So they go to the air for that. And the football to the 41. It's a pickup of 14. Clock stops at 6.07. It's a nice play for Mount Union. They trail by only four. Three receivers left, one to the right. And Ryan's carry, and he stumbles and down he goes. Zach Travis stood up his blocker and then the runner actually ran into the blocker and went down. So no gain for Ryan on that one. Inside six minutes to go here in the fourth. Northern Cambria Marion Center game 45 nothing now for the Colts. In mercy rule time in the fourth. The snap and Danish will keep it himself. He's caught in the backfield and down he goes. Zach Travis is there for the loss. That's a great play by Travis here on the replay, Todd. He just split that gap between the guard and, and the tackle. Man, nice tackle in the backfield. It's a loss of close to three yards. Make it third down and 13. Short 13, if you will. The snap and he's back to pass again. The release and that'll be a penalty there for pass interference on United Valley. Just arrived early. That'll cost him 15 and be the first down and put the football in United Valley territory. Yeah, Todd, you can see in the replay there, number 10, Skyler Hulk was, was up the uh, receiver's back before the pass got there. Of course, the fans here don't like that, but that was the right call. Oh, another flag on the uh, oh, sideline here. A flag on United Valley's bench is gonna cost them 15 yards more. Oh boy, things just turned very, very bad for the Lions. I understand Coach Maravito is not happy about that call, but you know to add 15 on is not going to help his team any. So that's 30 yards up the field, and they are going to send the teams off the field. I think they just gave them a sideline warning, actually, Todd. I don't think they actually okay. gave them a penalty. All right, United Valley getting their defense back out there. The football at the 38 or 48 yard line. So the second penalty is not enforced, just a sideline violation, a get back call. 48 of the Lions, 448 to go. Mount Union will hand it off to Ryan. He looks to get outside and does. Ryan, good adjustment by him. Flag comes in. Ryan close to the first down. Looked like he might have gotten right to the marker. But we are looking for another call here. Holding on Mount Union. That's a spot foul, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, as you mentioned earlier, Todd, because that's beyond the line of scrimmage, that's what it will be. So he got 10, and they lost 10. So first down, they may have lost 
a little bit more than that. 428 on a rolling clock. Ryan turned into a steamroller there. Got him down at the 45 yard line. It is a pickup of close to four. Call it three, make it second down and seven. Yeah, I, thought, as I talked about at halftime, you know, these United Valley defenders are getting a little worn down trying to tackle Josh Ryan. He's been a load all night long, and those gains that are getting stopped along the line of scrimmage are now going a little further downfield. This drive started at the 6.51 mark. We're approaching 3.51 now, left in the fourth quarter. And on second down, the flash out to the flat, and there's Robinson again. Jets up the sideline. He's got the first down. As he picked up eight yards. That's just a little swing pass out to the flat there. But no one guarded him. He's easily able to go up the sideline for the first down. Put the football at the United Valley 38. 336. And it is coming down to this last drive, isn't it? The pitch left. And looking at for the edges, Collins, he's not going to get there. What a play by Nedrick. Is he McCulley? And Dylan Stevens was there too. Dylan Stevens. Drew Gadula was there. And it is a loss for Nasir Collins. It's back to the 41, a three yard loss. I thought they got him a little further deeper in the backfield, but no. One of the interesting things is Isaac Worthington, who plays offense and defense and usually plays that safety position for United Valley, is on the bench now. Snap here and a whistle ahead of time. And a timeout called by Mount Union with 2.35 left in the fourth quarter. It'll be second down and 13 when we are back. 22-18 United Valley on Renda Digital TV. At IRMC, we have all of the necessary pieces in place to perform complex operations, including highly skilled and specially trained surgeons, their support team of experts, and advanced technology like the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. As a result, patients spend less time in the hospital, recover faster, and get treated close to home. So there's no reason to puzzle over where you should get your surgical care. The answer is right here at IRMC. Looking to experience luxury with your next vehicle? Then look no further than Luther Lincoln. From the full-size Lincoln Navigator to the mid-size Lincoln Aviator or the Lincoln Nautilus and Corsair crossovers, Luther has the Lincoln you want. With complimentary pickup and delivery for service or being able to schedule your service appointments online, Luther Lincoln wants to make your experience a pleasant one. Luther Lincoln, your choice for Lincoln. Route 119, Homer City. Click on LutherLincoln.net. Twenty-two, eighteen. United Valley leading Mount Union. Fourth quarter, 2.35 to go. Second and 13, Mount Union at the United Valley 41. Danish is back to pass. Looking, rolls to his right, lost it down the field. There's a flag. The catch is made by Robinson. They'll get him down shy of the first down. Looks like at about the 30-yard line, but we'll see what this flag is. It came over on the United Valley sideline area. Todd, this is either going to be a hold or a lineman going downfield before the pass was thrown. I was thinking the hold, but you're right. I hadn't considered the other. It's a lineman downfield. Yeah, that play took so long to develop that one of the linemen had took off downfield before he threw the pass, and you only get two. Maybe they give you three yards going line scrimmage before they're going to throw that flag, but he was well downfield. So that will make it second and 18. Back to the 46. They need the 26 for the first, or 28 for the first down. Danish back to pass. Looking, now he'll tuck. He's got room. Danish to the 40, to the 35. He's hit to the 30, dives forward. 
I think he'll be just shy of the first down, but United Valley was not able to cover Danish on that. They're going to move the sticks. They're going to give him the first down. He does get the first, so he gets the 18 that was needed. And with two minutes to go, the clock will roll. Football at the 26-yard line of the Lions. Four-point lead. Can United Valley hold on against a Mount Union charge? Danish has Ryan in the backfield with him. Takes the snap, rolls to his right, steps up again, and he's got all kinds of room in the center of the football field. He's hit at the 15, down to the 16, or 14 yard line. Stevens got him down, but they are closer and closer. 1.32 to go. Mount Union will call another timeout. So will we. 22-18, you are watching District 6 AA playoff action on Renda Digital TV. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy, too. With the all-new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money, all from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. Fourth quarter action brought to you by Luther Ford. First and 10, Mount Union at the United Valley 14-yard line. United Valley leading at 22-18. They've led the whole way. Ryan in the backfield behind his quarterback. Danish will give it to him. Ryan, big hole. There he goes. He's going to take it all the way into the end zone, the touchdown. 14-yard carry by Josh Ryan. And Mount Union jumps on top. Yeah, Todd, as we mentioned, you can see on the replay here, United Valley has just gotten worn down trying to tackle him. He broke two tackles away in the end zone. The only good thing is United's going to have a little bit of time left on the clock when they get the ball back to come down and score themselves. What was that? Penalty field drive. This has been a penalty field second half. Danish for the extra point. They've had all kinds of difficulties on these things tonight. This one looks like that's good. It is. And that ups the lead to 25-22. Mount Union the lead with 125 to go in the fourth. Exciting finish on the way on Rinda Digital TV. Hi, this is State Representative Jim Struzzi, and like most of you, I find myself ready to watch some Friday night football, and this season is no different. I want to wish all our area athletes, band members, cheerleaders, and all who participate the best of luck for a safe, successful, and fun-filled season. These games wouldn't happen without the support of the community, and as a parent, I know the importance of after-school athletics and programs keeping our youth's mind and body ready to tackle life's hardest lessons. For me and my staff, good luck, and I'll be rooting for each and every one of you. Robindale and its affiliated companies are proud to be a sponsor of all student athletes in the area. For nearly two decades, Robindale has been cleaning up refuse coal piles that dot and scar the western Pennsylvania landscape. To reclamate and beautify these areas, Robindale believes deeply in safety, compliance, and community responsibility. If you would like to become a part of the Robindale team, you can contact them at 814-446-6700, extension 122, or see how Robindale can assist your business at robindale.com. Kickoff for Mount Union. Fielded by DePaulo at the 15. Gino to the 20. Break a tackle. And then he's slammed to the turf at about the 23-yard line. United Valley trailing for the first time tonight. Gets the football with 1.18 to go. And they will spot it at the 22. They're quickly to the line of scrimmage.
And on first down, Worthington operates out of the gun. Snap and he's back to pass. He's got his man, that's Brown. The first down and he gets out of bounds, or did he? Watch the official there for me, Jeff. Tell me if he did. Yeah, it's the first down. So the clock will not start till they spot the ball. First and 10, football out to the 33. Snap, and there's a flag. I think United Valley probably was moving on that. It is. Five yards on the Lions. Make it first and 15. 110 on the clock. Lions right back up there. The snap and Worthington looks to pass. Pulls it down, now rolls out. The release and he's got his man. It's Nedrick who falls out of bounds. And boy, they moved that football way back. He went out of bounds at about the 37 and the official standing right there put it down on the 35. Yeah, not much gain on that play. But at least he gets out of bounds, saves the time on the clock. He got seven yards to re-race that penalty. Second down now. Worthington is caught and sacked. Making the stop for Mount Union is David Yoakum. And United Valley will have to call timeout with 56 seconds to go. It'll be third down and 10 coming up after the sack. Keep it right here. And Kevin Marabito will call his team over to the line of scrimmage. They have the football at the 33 yard line. So they are 67 yards away from retaking the lead or at least putting themselves in the field goal position. And Todd, they have to be careful here. Any play they run that stays in bounds, they've got to hurry up the line and get set. We're under a minute now. They don't have a whole lot of time to get a lot more plays off. And what they can't have happen is what happened on that last play where they would give up a sack. I believe that was their first time out. The clock is actually burnt out on the number. Here they come. Worthington will put McCauley in the backfield with him. Brown split to the left. DiPaolo and Travis to the right. Worthington takes the snap. Here comes the rush. He's outside, he'll release. He's got a man, DiPaolo, but the pass is beyond him. Falls incomplete. Fourth down and 10 coming up. The clock will stop at 49 seconds. You gotta find the 10 here, don't you? Yeah, you just need to continue the drive at this point, Todd. With 10 yards, you still have 50 seconds. That's the most important thing, just convert the first down. But I like what they did in that play. I would roll Isaac out again and give him an option to either throw it or pass it to pick up the yardage. All right, it's the same formation. Actually, no, everybody's to the right on this one. Worthington is back to pass again. He'll stay in the pocket. Now he's rushed and he gets it and he lost it. He lost his footing and down he went and he's holding his right knee. He'll get out, but on fourth down, United Valley will turn it over after the sack. And that will bring an end to the United Valley season. They held the lead in this game for almost all of it. But they'll Turn the football over at the 24-yard line. And Isaac Worthington limps sadly off the field. Get the handshake. Kevin Marabito will be coming up to join us in the booth after this game. But for Mount Union, a come from behind victory tonight will move them into the second round of the playoffs. They'll play the winner of Richland and Penns Valley. The snap and the handoff and Ryan will 
carry it forward for about eight yards. And they do not have to snap the ball again. United Valley took the lead after Mount Union turned the football over with a fumble on their first possession of the game. A 50-yard touchdown run by Caden McCulley. And the Lions, even here in the second half, Jeff, they kept the football for a good long time for almost eight minutes of that third quarter. They sure did, Todd, and they had their chances, but them not scoring any more points in the second half is what ultimately cost them this game here. The final score, Mount Union 25 and United Valley 22. And we are back here on District 6 AA playoff action on Renda Digital TV. Hi, this is Shireen Hess, Indiana County Commissioner. I'm running for re-election because I want to help build a better future for Indiana County. In my first two terms, I've worked to get services to those in need, support our small businesses, and create safer and stronger communities. In my third term, I will use my experience and knowledge to do even more. I hope I have earned your vote for another term. Let's keep the train moving forward. Vote for Shireen Hess. Paid for by friends of Shireen Hess. The engineering firm of Young & Associates is proud to sponsor high school athletics. With offices in Indiana, Catanning, and Johnstown, Young & Associates is a full-service engineering, surveying, and design firm for private, public, and municipal entities, covering western Pennsylvania, delivering solutions in a timely and cost-competitive manner. To see how they can be of service to you, go online to wjyaengineers.com. Dan in a van hasn't returned your call? Chuck in a truck can't get there for two months? Stop dealing with fly-by-nighters and call a company that's fully capable for all your plumbing and heating needs. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated is on call 24-7, 365 days a year. Visit us at JoycePlumbing.com. That's JoycePlumbing.com. Joyce Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning Incorporated. The best place in town to take a leak. PA 042115. We're back at United High School, where tonight, a very disappointing night for the United Valley Lions. They season, see their season come to a close with a 25-22 loss to Mount Union in this District 6 AA playoff game. United Valley scoring first in this game. They took a 6 to nothing lead after recovering a fumble by Mount Union on their opening possession. United Valley got a 50-yard touchdown run from Caden McCulley. The kick after was blocked. It was 6 to nothing at the 10-20 mark of the first quarter. See ya, Greg. After Mount Union gambled on fourth down and turned the football over at their 40-yard line on the next possession, United Valley took it over, and they went those 40 yards in five plays. McCulley getting a second touchdown of the night on an 18-yard run. The two-point conversion pass from Isaac Worthington to Gino DiPaolo made it 14-0 Lions with 4.20 left in the first quarter. And then Mount Union put together a 13-play, 79-yard drive that covered five minutes of 30 and 32 seconds. It lasted into the second quarter of the game. A one-yard touchdown run by their quarterback, Bryce Danish. The kick failed. It was 14-6 United Valley. After the Lions turned it over on an interception, Mount Union taking over at the 41, at their 41-yard line. They went 10 plays in 59 yards, 4 minutes and 48 seconds. A 13-yard touchdown run by Josh Ryan capping that drive, but the two-point conversion failed. United Valley led 14-12, to and then the Lions had one last chance in that first half, taking the football after the kick at the Mount Union 46, a great kickoff return by Caden McCulley. They had a couple of big kickoff returns in that first half, uh, and um, they, they kept it for 10 plays, 54 yards, 3 minutes and 32 seconds. The last five or four plays of that drive were runs by the quarterback, Isaac Worthington. They covered 3-5-3 three, three, and then one yard for the touchdown. Uh, the two-point conversion again to DePaulo was good, and United Valley at the half 
had a lead of 22 to 12. And it stayed that way for a good long portion of that second half because Mount Union kicked it off to United Valley and the Lions put on a drive into Mount Union territory. Uh, but on fourth down, after a couple of negative plays and a penalty, uh, the Lions had the football and punted it away. Mount Union fumbled that punt away, though, so United Valley got the football back at the 16-yard line of the Trojans. But they could not score from there. So from the 11.54 mark, basically from the second-half kickoff, all the way until they handed the ball over on an interception at the goal line that was returned to the six, it was a... Uh, uh, United Valley possession. Mountain Union didn't touch the ball in the second half until the 347 mark left in the third quarter. And they went the rest of the way. Uh, Mount Union, 94 yards in eight plays. The big play, a 49-yard run by uh, the quarterback, uh, Bryce Danish. And that was followed up by a United Valley five-yard penalty that made no sense because it was a face mask penalty. Um, a five-yard face mask penalty that was tacked on to the end of the run, which uh, to me, I, uh, maybe I don't know the rules as well as I thought, but uh, you should have either the choice of taking the five-yarder or the 49-yard run. They got them both. On the very next play, Josh Ryan went 21 yards for a touchdown. Kick failed. United Valley still led it 22-18. to 18. <laughs> So the Lions took the football. And uh, after a, a penalty-filled possession, uh, United Valley committing two, Mount Union committing one, and uh, the Lions punting the football away. Mount Union takes it. Uh, they lose it on downs, and United Valley, actually, they had to punt it away. United Valley took it at their 47 with 824 to go. Um, and three and out for them, Mount Union getting the football with 651 left in the football game at their 21-yard line. They took off on a 10-play 79-yard drive. It was a 14-yard touchdown run by Ryan. The kick was good. Mountain Union had their first lead of the game, 25-22 with 1.18 to go. Uh, United Valley then one last chance with the football, but they couldn't make it happen. Uh, four downs and out, and uh, the Lions uh, were not able to make this one happen here tonight as they lose this game 25-22 the season will come to an end with a record of 9-2 and two for the Lions, and Mount Union will move on to play the winner of Richland and Penns Valley. So there's your game summary tonight, uh, and uh, Jeff and I will talk about that a little bit more when we return. Kevin Marabito expected to come up and visit us in the booth as well uh, as the Lions fall 25-22. to 22. You are watching District 6 AA playoff football action on Renda Digital TV. We're the lifeblood of the community. It's so much more than just a job. So good patient care is providing top quality care, but also in a timely fashion. They don't need to go to Pittsburgh for that. They can stay right here in their backyard. So when a patient walks into your office, you receive them as your family member. A patient leaves my office feeling heard. And the focus truly is on what will get us our best patient outcome. Do you like trying to figure things out on your own? That's commendable. But when it comes to tax laws and IRS rules and regulations, the smart thing to do is seek the help of a tax professional. That's Diane Mack. Diane Mack Tax and Accounting Service does tax work for both families and companies, along with bookkeeping services for small businesses with e-filing capabilities. Don't shortchange yourself. Seek the help of a professional. Call Diane Mack Tax and Accounting Services in Armagh at 814-446-5506. You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money. All from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. When your vehicle needs tended to, take it to Baroni's Auto Care. Baroni's Auto Care inspects, does minor repairs including brakes and exhausts, as well as oil changes and tune-ups. And if you're looking for tires, Baroni's Auto Care sells all brands. 
Baroni's Auto Care is currently accepting new customers. So when your vehicle needs inspected or repaired, take it to Baroni's Auto Care right off Route 56. Look for the sign in Brush Valley. Mike Keith and I are ready to be re-elected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county that we said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband. We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And, and go, go Lions! This is State Senator Joe Pittman wishing all of our student athletes and their families every success. Friday Night Lights are always exciting, and I recognize how important it is for students to be involved in activities, whether it be in athletics or the performing arts. I salute not only all of our students, but also all who guide them on and off the gridiron. And I wish all of our hometown teams the best of luck this season. So what sets s and apart from other financial institutions is that they are visionary. Now, we understand that it is partially about the numbers, but they know it's not just about the numbers. It's about the management team, it's about the strategic and business plan, it's about how the team is going to execute on that. In short, s and gets it. Quite honestly, we couldn't have done it without s and Luther Ford, one trusted name, two great locations. Right now at Luther Ford, drive off in a new F-Series truck, Ford Ranger, Ford Maverick, or the all-electric F-150 Lightning. Check out the Ford Bronco, Bronco Sport, Eco Sport, Escape, Explorer, Expedition, Edge, and Mustang Mach-E. And always look at the exciting Ford Mustang. Luther Ford, one trusted name, two great locations, Route 119 Homer City and Admiral Perry Highway, Evansburg. LutherFord.com. Mike Keith and I are ready to be re-elected to continue the great work we have proven we can do well together. Like the United Valley Lions, we know the importance of discipline. Robert and I brought fiscal discipline to the county that we said we would. We also have kept major investment priorities moving forward, such as broadband. We know there's a lot more work to be done. We love our county and we want to continue working for you. Please vote Mike Keith and Robin Gorman, your county commissioners. And, and go, go Lions! You can shop for pretty much anything online. Clothes, food, vacations, you name it. All without ever leaving the comfort of your couch. Finally, banking can be just that easy too. With the all-new FMB eStore, you can shop for hundreds of financial products to manage your money. All from the comfort of your couch. From clicks to bricks, we've got you covered. Experience the FMB eStore in branch, on your phone, or online at fmb-online.com. We are back at United Valley High School. Kevin Marabito joining us as the United Valley Lions fall 25-22 to Mount Union, a game that the Lions led for most of the way and oh, some key plays. We'll talk about that with the coach here. Uh, as we continue here on Renda Digital TV. Uh, Coach, first of all, reaction to the game. These guys gave it to you all season long. You really, really I have to be proud of this group of young men. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's what I told them at the end, Todd. You, it's lessons in life. You know, how, how are you going to bounce back? You know, and it's, you know, it's heartbreaking. You know, there's a lot of tears right now, but with what we did all year, you know, it, it's a great success. I mean, no matter how you look at the score, did I like to lose? No, but, you know, players didn't want it at the end. But, you know, it had to go somewhere. You know, unfortunately, we're, we're the team on the, the short end of the stick. I mean, we had our opportunities to win it, but, you know, it didn't get the job done. But you, you can't take away with what we did all season, and I'm, I'm very proud of them, and, you know, then my hat's off to them. Coach, you take that first quarter lead, uh, you get the fumble uh, and and recover it. Caden runs it in from 50 yards out. You're up six to nothing at that point. You get the football right back when they gamble with it at the 40 yard line. They're 40 uh, and they went for it and you stop them uh, and you drive that one in and, and put the score on the board 14 to nothing at that point. Uh, and the guys had to be feeling pretty good. Uh, they, they worked, uh, but you know, I 
I don't know if maybe we relaxed a little bit too much. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to say. I mean, we, we jumped on them early, but we, we just could not put the, you know, you, you couldn't put the stake in to finish it, you know, and that, and that's that's partially, you know, I'm, I'm taking a lot of the blame, you know, maybe I didn't do a good enough job offensively to prepare them, but, you know, it, it's it, of course, too, you got to give Mont Union a lot of credit. I mean, they, they shut us down, and, you know, that's that's a credit to them. But, you know, we, we had our opportunities, but things just didn't go our way tonight. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a game of football. You talked before the game about trying to stop Ryan and Danish, uh, and they proved how tough they are to stop. Uh, Ryan is your classic bull ahead and, and just knock down the people in front of you, while Danish is so elusive. Uh, and one of those heady ball players that you know is always going to be out there uh, and so they made some things happen when they needed them to happen. But you're right. It was their defense that really turned it for them, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. I mean, we, we knew going in, Todd, that we, you know, we were going to have to move the ball continuously on offense because they were going to be tough to stop. You know, defensively, you know, <laughs> you know, we were putting pressure on him, but he, he was making things happen. And that's and that's part of, you know, our fear there, you know, and, you know, the, the running back 44, you know, he. He was hitting us up inside. You know what we told him all week: you can't tackle him high. You know we we were tackling high, but you know when you look at it, you know we had pressure on that quarterback, but he he was just so you know he was just so elusive and, and get out of it, and you know he he could extend plays and you know and that, and that's the game. I mean when you can extend plays, your secondary can't watch them all because I think the one time he had. I think we counted he had like seven seconds to throw the football, you know, and you, you just can't, you know, you can't win ball games when that happens. They got those two scores in that second quarter. They're within two points of you, but uh, a really big drive by your team. You get the great kickoff return from Cade, and Gino had had a great kickoff return earlier. Uh, so you get the football at, at their 46-yard line. You keep it uh, at your 46, uh, and, and you keep it 10 plays. No, it was actually their 46. You keep it 10 plays from there yep. and, and drive it in and get the score just a little at a time. And I know you said before the game, if we can keep the football out of their hands and just put together those long drives, that's that's the way you want to do it. You know, and when you look at it, Todd, we, you know, we did that. We come out second half, and we kept it out of their hands. But, the, you know, the, the nail in the coffins whenever we didn't put it in on that drive in the third quarter. I mean, that's... That's really the one that, that turned the tides. I mean, I, I think if we would have punched that one in, it was a different ball game. But, you know, once again, you know, I think we were down to, what, the three-yard line and couldn't punch mm -hmm. it. I mean, and that's that's something that you've got to be able to do. You know, if you if you get down there and, you know, we, we drove that football in the second half and, you know, our, our thing was is go in, drive it down, score, you know, and get another stop and, you know, take time off the clock, which we took a lot of time off the clock in the third quarter, but, you know, when you don't punch it in, it's that was the I, I would say that was a turning point of the game. Yeah, you get that second half kickoff, you keep it, uh, and eventually do have to punt it, but they fumble away the punt to you, and so you get it at their 16 with 7:58 to go in the quarter. Uh, you drive it down to the three, but then sack, sack. You get two sacks yep. on consecutive plays, and then they actually did you a favor because you had third and goal from the 25, and or fourth and goal from the 25. They just needed exactly. to bat it down, but they picked it off instead, returned it to the six. But then they put on the big drive, um, and and 94 yards in eight plays. Uh, a couple of confusing plays for us anyway up here. They uh, got the 49-yard run by the quarterback, and then they tacked on the five-yard face mask at the end of that, which didn't yeah, make sense I, to us. I, I don't have a lot of comments on that. <laughs> and then the 21-yard touchdown run right after that. The kick fails. But you're still up at that point, 22 to 18, and you're getting the football back with 25 seconds left in the third quarter. You still had a chance to win this game. We did, Todd, but... You know, they, they did a great job of, with us defensively. I mean, they, they started shutting us down. I mean, we, you know, we, we just could not move the football. And when you can't move the ball and you keep giving it back to a team like that, you know, you it causes your problems. You know, we, we even tried to go into the eye, but, you know, that, that didn't help us there in the fourth quarter. You know, tried to drive, you know, take some more time off, but it was only three plays. And, you know, we punted it back. Then, you know, after that, it was, you know, downhill. 6.51 left in the game when they got the football. They kept it till 125. 10 plays and 79 yards. Five minutes and 26 seconds. There were a couple of plays there when it looked like you had them uh, I mean, and had them stopped and, and let yeah. them up. Yeah, and that's that's credit to the, to the young man doing it. I mean, you got to... 
you know, we just couldn't tackle him, Todd. You know, it was just one of those nights. But, you know, as I told the kids, the sun's going to come up tomorrow. And, you know, we'll look back. And this, this was a great season. I mean, there, there's a lot of teams that would, you know, want nine wins, you know. Sure. You know, we got it. You know, finish nine and two. You know, it's great for them. And, you know, hopefully they, they learn from that. You know, the seniors going out, you know, got some good lessons in life. You know, the underclassmen, they see what they're going to have to do to, to get ready for next year. Yeah, uh, it was uh, just a tremendous atmosphere here tonight. You gave the fans a great show. You, you almost pulled it out. You got yourself a Heritage Conference uh, regular season title out of it. Uh, all in all, it uh, has to be a pretty satisfying season. Oh, I was, Todd. I mean, you know, all the years I've been at it, it's, it's uh, been gratifying. I mean, I'm just happy to, you know, where the program's at right now. I'm happy for both communities. And, you know, I, I think the, the players made them proud this year. Yeah, absolutely. The second year of uh, this com combined uh, school districts of uh, United and Black Lick Valley, uh, the kids have come together. They have made it into something really special in just two years. Uh, it is. I mean, uh, the players hang out together, you know, and it, it's it's a great, great feeling. I mean, you, you wouldn't know that we're two separate schools, you know, but when we come together, you know, they, they do a lot of things together, and that's and that's part of it. You know, I mean, they're, they're making friendships they're never going to forget, you know, and friendships they may mean, never had you know without this this co-op so it's been great coach you and i go back to 1972 true that means uh, i'm awful old 1972 when uh we first met each other and uh, it has been a joy again this season we appreciate so much uh, your being with us through the season and through the luther ford coaches corner on saturday mornings it, it's been a pleasure again okay. thank you todd it's been a pleasure and an honor being on the radio with you appreciate it sir Kevin Marabito, the head coach of the United Valley Lions. You are watching Renda Digital TV. Final score tonight, Mount Union 25 and United Valley 22. And we're back in just a moment. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Do you like trying to figure things out on your own? That's commendable. But when it comes to tax laws and IRS rules and regulations, the smart thing to do is seek the help of a tax professional. That's Diane Mack. Diane Mack Tax and Accounting Service does tax work for both families and companies, along with bookkeeping services for small businesses with e-filing capabilities. Don't shortchange yourself. Seek the help of a professional. Call Diane Mack Tax and Accounting Services in Armagh at 814-446-5506. We are back at United High School. Once again, United Valley with the loss here tonight, 25-22 to Mount Union. The other AA school in our area also losing tonight, River Valley defeated by Forest Hills in their game. Uh, and some really interesting scores coming in. Week 10 of the Heritage Conference regular season featured Penn's Manor purchase line in a backyard rivalry. We're going to get that again next week, Jeff. Should be a good game. Should be a great game. Yeah. Uh, Penn's Manor with a victory tonight over Juniata Valley. Uh, let me see if I can find that score. Um, and the Penn's Manor had to go on the road down to Juniata Valley and pick up that win. A heck of a long trip. It is. Too. Uh, Penn's Manor 34-14 over Juniata Valley. Um, and uh, the um, other game that uh, involves Pence Manor next week will be, of course, Purchase Line. They were a 21-13 winner over Mo Valley, so it'll be Pence Manor against Purchase Line next week. And last week also featured the renewal of the Coal Bowl. Guess what? We get it again. We get the Coal Bowl again. Nice. Cambria Heights, a winner tonight in their playoff game, uh, and they will move on to play at Northern Cambria. Coal Bowl redux. Uh, that'll be happening uh, at Northern Cambria again next week. So uh, both rematches of week 10, and uh, we, of course, will make broadcast plans, probably radio, probably um, TV as well, Renda Digital TV. We don't know yet uh, the way that they'll call it, but it sounds like it's going to be a big, fun weekend, and we'll look forward to bringing it to you on our Renda Digital stations and on Renda Radio as well. Uh, great night tonight here at United Valley. Unfortunately, not great enough. Mount Union wins at 25-22. Jeff, uh, great working with you. 
I enjoyed First, it. Thank you very much, Todd. I'm, I'm glad you're able to come along. Let's see if we can't do this again sometime I'd soon. like to. It sounds, sounds, like, sounds like fun. John Smathers has been our, our more than just our engineer here tonight. He's been the guy making it all happen, producing it here on Renda Digital TV. We want to thank, once again, everybody who came along as sponsors uh, of this uh, big extravaganza, including our title sponsors, Young & Associates and Joyce Plumbing & Heating. Everybody who uh, helped out here tonight, it's been an effort and uh, the United Valley Lions uh, see their season come to a close, sadly for them. But we thank you for joining us. We're back somewhere next week. It is Renda Digital TV, and it's District 6 High School Football Playoff Action.